Hello. How are we doing? How are we doing? Hi, <laughs> Look at this. John, John's no, trunk. Beer reviews. <laughs> John's shrunk had quite a lot of beers. He's, he's shrunk the beer. I'today we're going to be reviewing Bavaria Shandy. <laughs> <laughs> Bavaria Shandy. What's it like? What's it like? Get stuck in. Tell us what it's like. I've had it before and it tastes horrible. <laughs> What's the accent? <laughs> <laughs> You got more northern than you were before. Love it. Well, well, whilst you're cracking in your beer, we're going to say hello to everyone. We're, we're doing a, something a bit different. We're all going to be drinking hoke up in this evening. We've had it knocking around the house for ages, and we thought we'd come together and drink it together. Uh, I don't know if anyone's got a bottle at home. Hopefully you do. Um, let's go through the chat, see who's in. Uh, Thomas is here. He says hello, everyone. Hello, Thomas. Hello. <laughs> Please like and share. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you can be bothered with all that stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on my phone and do it now. So. That looks lovely. That looks lovely. <laughs> Look, there's the uh, the free ginger ledgers on a Wednesday. Can't get any better than that. You can't, can you? You can't get better than that. James Bruce is in. If you know, grab a pint. Exactly. Get a beer. Get a beer. But we all deserve one. Jack Howard's in. Oi, oi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Evening beer drinkers. Jim is in. Hello, Jim. How are you, buddy? How are you, mate? Beer package served up safe and sound this morning. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Awesome. He's saying low. He's laughing at Mini Paul's beer reviews down there. Salty popcorn. Love it. That's is that young John? It's young John. Kevin's in. I need to stop the water. Uh, I'm drinking it a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just something funny in your water. Something funny in the water. Right, like Kobe, what's what's the beer like? It tastes rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes rubbish. So it's Shandy's rubbish. What's what's everyone else drinking? What are we all drinking at home? Are we drinking? I thought, I thought John had set this up as a bit of a kind of a, a quick ruse, and then what I think is actually happening is John's late and he's just having to fill in for half an hour. That's it. He's getting the substitute in. Oh, here he is. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see how long that was going to last. I love the beard. That was brilliant. <laughs> in proper, in proper, I said, why don't you go on and pretend to be Paul's beer reviews? And he was like, yeah, I'm doing that. That's <laughs> well cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Excellent. Right. Have you got a hoe garden ready? You got it. You've got the big bear for as well. Good lad. Good lad. We've all, we've all got the giant. We've all got the biggie. We've all got the biggie. Now, I'm, I'm actually gasping. I've not had a beer today. So I'm just going to crack it open and get into it. Do it. Oh, he's got a Stein. He's got a Stein ready. Got a Stein? Oh, yeah. I've got, I've, 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 I've got a wheat beer glass. I'm going posh. I'm going for the wheat beer glass. Oh, I, got, I, I just happened to be on brand. I had one anyway. Look at that. Flash kid. <laughs> he's in it. He's so flash. He's like... He's so bloody posh. Oh, it's so, it's so lively. I can hear it already. It's going to go everywhere. Why is my... Ah... Uh, I'm like struggling to hear. I realise my volume's down halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm right. trying not to try to follow that. That is well lively, isn't it? Blimey. Right, got, got it unscathed. Right. <laughs> Half a glass ahead. It's paler than I remember it being. Come on. So it looks good, though. Combination roaring away on that one, roaring away. <clears throat> what are we saying? Jim's I'm, I'm looking quite flat, actually. Is it? <clears throat> it's that crappy glass you're gonna no. <laughs> the brandy glass. I can't get it right. Mine is that carbonation is going mad on this one, <sighs> absolutely nothing roaring away. Maybe it was a bit, maybe it was a bit too gentle with the pull. We'll try the second one, maybe. John, that, that glass is... Uh, you got the whole bottle in there? No, not even, but John must have the whole bottle in it, surely. I've got about... I must have... Oh. The what? what? Oh, so the I've whole about, bottle's in there, yeah. I've got about half in here. Yeah, same. Which I'm quite happy with, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, Icon Canadian is the most common German beer in Montreal. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Take care. Hello, Icon Canadian. Dino's in. 
Iron Here here go. Welcome along, mate. Welcome along. Shark Girl says, We want mini pool. <laughs> 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 Love it. So, you know, 50p on the pool table. Uh, you see, need a beer. Need a beer. Get a beer, Danny D. Even though I've never tried Ho Gardens on the list. I've had, I've had a lot of people request a review and I've been putting it off and putting it off. Like, not, not deliberately. It's just been getting put off and off for ages. Me and Tom spoke. He had one. He was planning to do a review. So we decided we'd come together and review it live with you guys. So uh, I don't know if anyone at home has got one. It'd be great if anyone else has got one. But, uh, yeah. So the first impressions, pale, really carbonated. But I like the aroma. I really like the aroma on it already. There's that traditional Belgian wit. Yeah. While it is nice. But I'm, I'm a big fan of Blue Moon. <clears throat> so I'm always going to be a fan of this one. But uh, I don't think it's... I don't think it smells quite as orangey, perhaps, as the Blue Moon. No. I'm going to get any orange. I'll get a little bit of citrus. I'm definitely getting the coriander. There's a bit of spice there. Do you know if it's coriander uh, leaves or seeds that they use in it? I'm not too sure. Trees. It's trees. Coriander trees. Coriander trees. <laughs> yeah. Um, coriander and orange peel. Naturally cloudy. So on the back. Yeah, not, getting, not, getting, not getting a lot of orange, but it's almost... It's almost like um, kind of banana sweets, almost, isn't it? Yeah. See, I was holding off because I used to drink Ho Garden a lot. Uh, um, and then I stopped. Oh no! Got intermittent John. Are you struggling, struggling with Johnny? As uh, per. I thought really? we were talking already. What's going on here? <laughs> John, John looks like he's had two bottles of it already. That's it. He might have to refresh and get back in there. Neil says he's not generally a midweek drinker, but he forced me to open a salt eye cat. Oh, blimey. Nice. Cheers, lads. That's a hell of a choice. There's that big 8% job, isn't it? I cat, I cat, whatever it's called. He's back. He's back. Are you live? <laughs> yeah. I, for some reason, whenever I turn, our dishwasher is on. Seems to affect the <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. Mine's it right. Hang on. Let me uh flipping thing. You you carry on without me. Stop in today. Gold Jake is in. Says, oi, oi, evening, lads. How are you, buddy? Hi, Hi well. well. Big Kev is in. Hi guys. Uh Alessio, same in along. Crack a brew dog versus cloud water IPA. Nice, nice, decent choice. Gold Jake says, got just got in the house, been chilling outside since one PM. Nice, nice, nice. Where's, where's yeah. Goldberg? Because the weather's not been all <clears throat> for that. We've been we've been dry this evening. Uh, this evening today, we had a, a, a tiny shower this afternoon. But other than that, it's the best day we've had in about three weeks. So uh, mm -hmm. got away with it. Uh, on the Vorka, Liam, good choice. Paul Goggin, evening lads. Predictions? Or was that in in reference to the football, the cup final? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I just don't see how Villarreal can beat United. I don't know. I haven't really watched much of them this season, but I think United will win it, personally. Right. Well, what, 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 sorry, what I was saying is I used to drink this a lot, and then somebody once like just came up to me and said, it tastes like banana, and then I could never drink it again. <laughs> but you say that the power put you off of that word, banana. Yeah, well, weirdly, banana and coriander are two things I hate, but I really like Ogon. I can't, I can't, I don't know, I can't explain that. It's, I guess the banana's not really, it's like banana sweets, it's not like real banana. Yeah. It's, it's almost, I mean, I, I, you could almost, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's almost like apple, it's almost apple sweets without the sour bit. Even. Yeah. It's got it's to not, say, we've got a bit of ingredients, water, barley malt, wheat, it's got glucose syrup in it, apparently. Oh no! Really? Yes. They normally, they normally do that to boost boost the the ABB in Belgian stuff, but it's not for very high this one, so I don't know why they bother. No, it's only four point nine this stuff. Um, yeast, hops, coriander, orange peel. So yeah, apart from the glucose syrup, but also I think it's the, the yeast 
will give you that sort of banana aroma. Obviously, more common in bisons, isn't it? Sort of German yeah. wheat. Beers. Anyway, I'm going to get stuck in because I'm absolutely gasping. So cheers, yeah. mate. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh. That is refreshing. Say what you want. That's refreshing. Mm. There's a little bit of, uh, first off the bat, that sort of candied sweetness that I think is quite traditional with Belgian beers across the board. It has a very sort of almost like a boiled sweet kind of sweetness to it, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Pear drops. Yeah. Yeah. You've hit the nail on the head there. That's from the um, yeast is where that flavour comes from. Getting a little bit of the banana. I'm not getting much orange. I'm not really getting much orange on it. It's not very. It's not very orangey, really. I'm not. I don't think they used to have that on the label. I think that's a recent, recent change. I don't yeah. think they recipe. I don't. They didn't used to promote it because well, it doesn't taste like it. I guess. I know. Um, Blue Moon have always promoted the fact that they have orange peel. They even recommend you put a, an orange peel garnish on it, don't they? With Blue Moon. Mm. Hope Garden's never really done that. I'm getting the tiniest bit of. Um, that tiny bit of coriander spiciness at the very back end. Okay. So it, tastes, it tastes metallic for me at the back, but that's because I'm one of those people who just taste metal when they eat coriander. <laughs> so, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because obviously like, a lot of stouts have that that kind of finish. Um, yeah. just reminds me of that. But again, that's a disposition. <laughs> mm. can't change. To me, it tastes a lot thinner than I remember it. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I was, I was, is there's not is there there's not oats in it? Is there is there oats in this? I wouldn't have thought so. It's probably all wheat, hasn't it? Thought, yeah, yeah, wheat. Yeah, um, it's, uh, yeah. For some reason, I seem to think I seem to remember it being. Did it used to be stronger as well? Though? Did it used to be higher ABV? Well, Ho Garden. I'm sure. I'm not too sure. I've never drunk enough of it to even remember the ABV. For me, every time I drink Hogarden, I think Blue Moon. And I know Blue Moon's always been 5.4. Right. But um, it's thinner. It's all wheat, isn't it? It's all wheat. There's no oats got into it. But it no. has a, it, it's smooth, though. It is smooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely smooth. I think if it was as thick as I, I think we thought it was, you probably couldn't session it for very long. Whereas like this, you probably can. Mm. I'm having a quick look on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah, let's see what it says. It was definitely it was definitely thicker on, on tap. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I've had it. I used to drink yeah. it. Yeah, it's fine now, honey. Um could you move the somebody bought Lydia lilies and it's the most god awful smell. Oh, they're horrible, aren't they? <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, it's saying here, it doesn't say that it was anything other than 4.9. Okay. <clears throat> but I, don't, I, I seem to remember it being stronger back in the day. But it's bought, it, it, um, it's an InBev company now. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Well, it, that's what it had been for a while, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I don't know how long, but I know it's, it was originally brewed in 1445. That's annoying when they don't tell you nothing because it's such a huge product now. They don't tell you anything about the brewery anymore. You just get loads of information that nobody really wants to read. It's just like yeah. you, get, you get the ingredients in nine different languages. And yeah, I hate it when they do that. Really annoying. Yeah, they did it on the uh, on the Devel video uh, review I did last week. It was the same thing. There's nothing on there at all. It's like yeah, figure oh, yeah. something out. I think I think with this, it's not particularly complex. There's a little bit of the. It's very yeasty. You're definitely getting the wheat factor with it. Um, I'm not getting a lot of orange. It's definitely citrusy, and I'm getting the slightest bit of coriander spice at the very back end. But it, it just um, it it just seems a little bit. I want to say watered down, but that might sound a little bit harsh, you know. No, well that. I, I think you've hit the nail on the head. For me, it just seems a lot, lot thinner than I remember it. It's very drinkable. 
I could probably session this. I would I would drink more of it. I think it's yeah. quite nice. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something very unpopular now. I think Blue Moon pisses all over this. <laughs> I really do. Fair enough. I've not had much Blue Moon to be honest. I don't remember being that impressed with it when I did have it, but that was only one one on tap and it could have been not necessarily a good one. So um, I need to try it again. But um, What I will say, Blue Moon... Uh, what I will say, Blue Moon's got oats in it. It's brewed with oats as well, so it's got a slightly fuller body. And I think, I think that carries the flavour a little bit more. I think the orange, the orange peel gets lost on this. Yeah, for bit. sure. It's it's there, but it's really subtle. I'd say it's more just. It'd be better described as citrusy rather than full on orange peel. You know. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's and it's sweeter than it is citrusy as well. It just yeah. gets lost in that in that. It's just very. It's quite a sweet, just a sweet drink. All yeah, the way. there's no bitterness in it at all. I I wonder what it would taste like if they hadn't put the glucose syrup in. That's the worrying thing. What what it would be like without that? Um, yeah. yeah. It, Points, it's, it's sweet, but it's not sickly. So yeah, what is it like without that glucose? In? Yeah, you got you got to imagine. But it tastes of anything without the glucose. Mm. Um, it's drinkable. I do kind of like it. I, I kind of I'm already it's it's going down quite well. It I think must, on a, on a hot it, must the recipe, it must have changed the recipe at some point, given how old it when it originated, it didn't have glucose syrup then, so at some point, yeah, you know, like 50 years, that's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it could have been that that thin all these years. I doubt it. Uh, great, just to catch up. Get, it, get this, um, it's saying that the brewery was failing at one point, and um, a local dairyman called Pierre Sellis uh, single-handedly revived the style and the brewery. Oh. Single handedly. He did this so uh, he, as a le as legend has it, he did so with just one cow shed, twenty one barrels and a dream. <laughs> you gotta have a dream. You gotta have a dream. That's amazing. Interesting. Interesting. Liam's put a bet on the footy tonight. We're gonna have to ah. Uh, not a bad beer since we've got gone. God, Jake, you're stealing your brother's beer again. <laughs> uh, I could God, Jake, how's you? God, Jake, uh, not going to a band and play stuff, my mate, because they about in general. You dirty stuff out, God, Jake. Nice to hear that. We're chilling out. 29 in the house. Awesome. Not bad, is it, for a Wednesday night? 29 on a weekday. Uh, I sympathise with him over the Wi-Fi dishwater excuse. As a kid, whenever my mum lit up the oven, my dad left the house. He was a terrible cook, I'd me. <laughs> interest, interesting typo, because it was often described as slightly fairy liquid-esque dishwater, this, wasn't it? <laughs> by, people, by people who didn't know better. It was, um... There's some good facts about this. It says, did you know <laughs> that uh, an orphan is the mascot of the company, of the brewery? Uh, the Ho Garden has an extra special, if unofficial, mascot, an orphan brewmaster. Two words that might never have uh, been joined come together in Ho Garden lore, which tells of an abandoned orphan raised by monks and schooled in the art of brewing. The orphan named Klaas for, for Cloister would grow up to be an expert brewmaster, so enamoured of a life li lived in beer, he even chose to die by it. Buried in a beer barrel at the age of 100. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's flipping cool, isn't it? That sounds insane. Is that, why, is, that, is that why it takes a bit off sometimes? <laughs> well, it says here also, uh, it, it says uh, wheat beer, which doesn't mean wheat beer. And uh, it says uh, wheat beer, Weiss beer is wheat beer, wheat beer is white beer. White beer, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that actually, to be honest. The original, I don't know. The original Belgian white. There you go. But um I like it. I do like it. But I've um Yeah. I've I've because I've not had it for a long time, I expected a bit more. Yeah, it was almost in any other beer you'd say that body was quite good. Mm. You know, just knowing what this 
we think was like, it's, it doesn't cut it. Yeah, I, I seem to remember this being fuller, more body, more flavour. It, yeah. it, it, it tastes like a cheap imitation of itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I recall I never being able to drink one of them before. Mm. Whereas this, you could just carry on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I could see myself doing another one of these. How, how much did everyone pay for this? Was it two ninety nine? I think so. It was only a few weeks back, but yeah, it was something three. Maybe it was, it was three, maybe three fifty. Yeah, two fifty. Yeah. I think mine was. I'd say I I think I picked this up in Lidl, and I think they were doing it for two forty nine on a deal. But I think that's the reason I picked it up because it's a beer that I always see, and I think nah, I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Three pound, and because they had them the deal, I thought that's not bad. Two forty nine for a big bottle of that. Um, yeah, actually, I think I got it. I think I got it on the two for. Is it two for four quid or two five quid? Morrison's big bottles of stuff. I think they do three for a flight, but they're the big ones. No, it wasn't on that. I, I think, think that, I'm sure I paid uh, 250 today for it in Sainsbury's. Okay. That's pretty But good. it was on offer. I'm pretty sure it was on offer. That's a hell of a price for that. That's still pretty good to me, £2.50 for that. Apparently, the hexagonal glass, um, it says here, uh, a Hoe Garden has its own glassware, steady flat bottom hex hexagonal glass that looks like it would be comfortable bring brimming with Sunny D, um, as it would a, a, a wit's beer. <laughs> as with most beer, the glassware, there's a logic to its shape. The hexagon opens up to cultivate a sturdy foam with a wider mouth that lets the citrus and spice and bready aromatics catapult themselves into your nasal passages as you sip. Where to get out the nasal passengers? I um, yeah, I, I, I like it. I would um, it's yeah, it's not amazing, but I like it. For the money, I think it's a good buy. I think there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing offensive about it. No, nah. no, nah, not at all. There's plenty of flavour there. I we'll say citrusy. I like the mouthfeel. I like that little bit of spiciness you get from the coriander at the end. But I've had better. Yeah, I've had better with the style, um, but you can't argue with that price for that size of a bottle. No, like four of them for a tenner, you're laughing, aren't you? Yeah, and you'd have the mother of all hangovers because it's full of esters, so it'll make you feel <laughs> death in the morning. Uh, yeah. I, know, I know you said it was like the um, kind of the hard boiled fruit smoothies, but for me, the aftertaste is always more like um, like the squidgy, you know, the little lobsters and, and those sort of little. Those sweets is that kind of. I think it's something to do with the kind of just the, the thickness of it as well. Yeah, the, the foaming nature of it is just a bit like yeah, foam sweet kind of thing. Of the back. Foam, foam banana things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, it, it's 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 drinkable. I mean, if I was to, if I was doing an independent review of that, I'd probably score that a seven because um, I, I want more. I'm drinking it and I'm wishing I had another bottle already, but it's. Uh, yeah. It's not. It's not amazing, but it's very drinkable. It's very refreshing. So I, I would give it a seven, solid seven. I think, I think it's one of those where if I go into go into a bar somewhere and they've got it, and the, all the other choices are the standard stuff, then I'll be very, very happy about it. Probably, I'm not sure if I'll bother buying any more for home though. No, nah. that's probably my my take on it. I think. I don't know. Yeah. I'm. I'm um... I don't know. I, a sort of wit beer, wife's beer isn't really my favourite style. However, Hogarden was the last pint of beer I had with my dad, funnily enough. So, mm. uh, yeah, I do. I, I, it's got a special place in my heart. It's all mm. right. I've got to admit, if I saw it in, on tap and it was in a bar and there was like no lagers that or pilsners or real ale I really fancied, I'd definitely dive into one of these. Yeah. I, I, could, I could imagine on a, on a warm day in a pub garden with a few of these, I'd be quite happy. I'd be quite happy with that. It's decent. It's decent enough. Just a bit thin. Uh, Big Kev says, how long do you beer reviewers consider a break? That when Simon said I'm taking a break, I thought months. <laughs> it was on last night drinking 12% stouts on the line. Was he drinking 12% stouts? <laughs> I missed it. I missed the whole thing last night. 
the, the, wor the worrying, the most worrying thing about that whole comment is the plural on stouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many yeah. Stouts, and stouts are you uh, are you doing there? He was drinking with the Dutch guys, wasn't it? With um, was it the Dutch brewery he was drinking with? I can't remember now. Right. It was like Dutch. I thought they'd finish. For me, beer reviews. How long do I consider a break? For me, a couple of days. I mean, this is the um, this is the first beer I've had since Saturday. Because that's actually quite a long time without a beer for me. It's not got a problem. Just saying. I, haven't, I, haven't <laughs> I, haven't, I don't. I don't miss it. Like either. I'm not. No. Gonna, I've, I've, I think I'm quite lucky. I've never really had like an addictive personality. If I like something, it, it always seems to be. If if you if you have it every day, you lose that enjoyment. Yeah. You know? So uh, sure. a beer is still very much a treat for me. But this this is the first beer I've had since Saturday, and I haven't. And I just realised it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Luckily, <laughs> I had my canned wine to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think when people take a break, it depends how. If if, the, if all you're drinking is the reviews you put out, then I'm probably not. I won't be drinking a lot. No, uh, I just try and I don't know. I, I kind of drink roughly the same amount each week, and I, if I end up doing more socially, then I put less reviews out. And equally, if I don't do any socially, I put more reviews out, and it's just a it's just a balancing act. Um, I don't know why Simo took a break. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't know. I just I just, just assumed he needed needed to step back and not drink as much for a few weeks, which I understand. If you, I think, I think for those guys, it was just like they were doing two big lives a week, <clears throat> and they've done over a hundred, which is a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. And I've got to say, um, and I, I don't know about you guys, but once I've done a live, I'm I'm shattered. I'm really, really shattered, mm. um, yes. and slightly drunk. So I had the hangover to deal with the next day, and feeling awful. Yeah. Um, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that twice a, a week on that level. Nah, obviously Simon was full on getting plastered when he twice a week. You know that's not ideal, really. Uh, I normally yeah. normally when I tune into his lives, it'd be quite late on as well. And I, I always thought, is it, is it? Does he start it like this, or is this? Is this? <laughs> is this I was like, so watch his reviews, and he's sober. And then every time I click on a live, I was like, oh. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> I got escalated quite quickly. <laughs> I, I tell you what, though, he's done a sterling job. Like, I think a lot of people got a lot of help, and it and it was a good outlet to vent yeah. and whatever. There was drama, there was madness, there was all sorts going on. But I think it was a good thing. I think it was all right. Yeah, and, no, it was. It was really, really good. It became like a you know, when 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 the Tuesday came around. I've done a day's work. I was like, ah, oh, so Simon's like tonight. It gives me an excuse to have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Got to admit, I've had a few where uh, Wednesday and Thursday were rough. <laughs> really? You are blattered on a Tuesday night. Yeah. Not good. Uh, Bounce bottles and boozes. Hello, mate. He's, he doesn't mess about this geezer. He says, this stuff is dog shit. Brewed by AB and Bev, full of sugar, nothing like the original. So there we go. There's confirmation there. So it was it's nowhere near as good as what it once was. Um, back ladies, period. Don't bother. Fort Lapin, uh, Blanche de Bruges or St. Bernardus is much better. I'll we'll have to make a note of those. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is mass produced. It's been ruined. It probably did. The one I remember drinking was probably a lot better than this. It, it's just been screwed around with a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I think so. I think I tried the Blanche de Bruges a few years ago, and it, if memory serves, it is very, very good. Blanche de Bruges, I've got to get over to that one. What's the best beer in the world? Uh, the one that's in my glass is normally my answer to that. <laughs> that is a wicked meerkat you've got there. It is. It is a meerkat with a party hat, and I love it. <laughs> that's, that's prime. That's prime competition for the otter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oliver, drink it. <laughs> we got oh, yeah. party I, didn't, I didn't know they were next to each other. That was incredible. <laughs> I, I think we need a vote. We need a vote. Otter or meerkat? Otter, Otter or meerkat? Who wins in a tear up? But he, he, the meerkat with the party hat as well. That could yeah, be a weapon. The meerkat's got the, the sharp hat on. But yeah. meanwhile, Otter's tanked up on California IPA. So. <laughs> 
But here's the session I've got. How long has he been drinking it for? Oh, yeah. there's so many questions to this fight. Get this on my bottle. It says imported and distributed in the UK, but by AB InBev, and then it says New Zealand. All oh, right, okay. All oh, right. So literally, this label is for every. It's for yeah, New okay. Zealand. It's for. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's, yeah, it's got multiple uses, isn't it? InBev Belgium. Oh, it's made in Belgium then. Well, that's a plus. Yeah, it's still made there, fortunately. Belgium. I, 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 I mean, it, it's gone. I was, I was really thirsty. To be fair, mine's gone. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't spectacular, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, so I'm gonna have to pour myself another beer. Luckily, I've got my ice bucket next to me, so I'm all good. I'm all good. <laughs> what good is what good is have you got in today? I've got a couple of, um, I've got a porter and a coffee, uh, a porter and a stout next to me, so I'm switching, switching up a little bit. Ooh, I might have a lager. I might not finish this because I just don't want a headache that it could potentially give me. It's gone, it's gone, from, quite, it's gone from quite enjoyable to a sink pour quite quickly. <laughs> I'm moving on to uh, it's a coconut coffee porter from North. FL, F1, is that F1, F5? FL, F1, F5? F1, F5, I believe that is. FL, F5. 6.5% ABV coconut and coffee porter. Full Fathom 5, it's called. I've got two of these, so I thought I might as well drink one here. So, uh, yeah, yeah, nice. That was interesting. Uh, so, my boy is saying, Pierre Kellis. I might, I might be butchering these pronunciations, mate. Yeah. Let me know if I'm the wrong. Pierre Kellis spoke to the locals and asked them what the beer tastes like back in the day. Test these various brews on the locals until it tasted like the original. That's what you want to do, isn't it? That's interesting. Going to get it right. Um, it says the brewery burnt down in the 80s and the local brewers helped out, eventually sold it to AB InBev and then he moved to the USA. Why not? <laughs> is, that, is that where he made Blue Moon? Is that this is going to be a full circle story? That's it. Who knows? Perhaps he, was, perhaps he started it all. That would be funny if it is. Yeah. I am. Uh, don't judge me. It's uh, it's been a hard week, and um, I haven't managed to get. I, did, I went into Sainsbury's. I bought the Hoe Garden, and there wasn't really anything I fancied. <clears throat> and I, I thought I'm going to get some beer for Friday from the brewery. So um, I bought one of these, and I'm going to drink it out of a Stella glass, like a proper nice. chunk. Is that Asahi? Asahi. You like that stuff, though, don't you? You quite often drink that. I do. I like it. I prefer it to some of the others. I like it because it's just really. Is there? I mean, it just. I don't know. I. I think because I work in a brewery and I drink our beer quite often at the like, and others to see what the the gist is. I just um, find myself drinking lager in my spare time. That's fair enough. I only ever drink that one in a Chinese restaurant. I don't go and bought a bottle of it. I think yeah, I think my, my Indian sells home garden. I think you get home garden in my in my curry ass while we're on the subject. This one skunked. Is it skunked? Uh, um, home what garden the garden. that makes sense. Uh got the cor guess the coriander would go. Yes, that works. Coriander. The coriander with the curry, that'd be all right. Yeah. In my, in my, my curry ash you get cobra, king cobra. Kingfisher and Ho Garden. They're, they're the four beers you get in my curry house. I've never even thought about having a Ho Garden with a curry. What's, I the King Cobra? What's the King Cobra like? I've not tried that. I've never had King Cobra either. Never tried it. I've always ever gone Cobra with my ruby. It's like tradition. Yeah. But Cobra has never been Indian. Mm. Well, the guy who the guy who invented it, he was Indian, but he, he invented it over here, didn't he? Yeah. He was a student at the time. That's, the yeah. last, that's my understanding of the story. He was a student. I can't remember what university he was studying at, but he wanted he wanted a, a, a lager um, that he could eat eat dinner with, and he just said it was too the beers were too bloating and too gassy. So he wanted something that he could uh, drink with his food, and he came up with the idea of cobra. 
So I don't know if it, I don't know if it was originally brewed here, but it was invented by a guy who was studying here. So that, that's what I my knowledge of it. Uh, so Kingfisher is legit Indian. Oh really? I like, I like Kingfisher, and that's good. One. That's one of my favourites to have with a with a curry. I think. I mean, it could be, it could have been bought out and be AB InBev, and it's just rebadged Stella for all I know. But it may well be now. <laughs> it could be, couldn't it? God is John Baggins drinking a pint of Ho Garden in Hobbiton, Mister Frodo. Mister Frodo. Uh, Paul says usually people add a slice of lime to it. What's a Ho Garden, really? Well, stop killing yourself with a pony beers. Last too short. <laughs> My nice. man, he, he, only, he only drinks the good stuff. He drinks all the German beers and everything else, and uh, he loves it. You wouldn't see him with a pint of lager, not very often, anyway. Well, Raggy said, "Lads, I'm out with a uh, full man beer reviews in Junkyard, Nottingham. Great Ooh. evening, good lad." I, I got told Junkyard are closed, so good to see it's open again. Good stuff. Dave Wilson's in. Hello, Dave. How are you, mate? Let me catch up with this chat and we'll be on. Sorry, Dave. Uh, usually have a beer on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If I have a beer on any other day, I've had a bad day at work. <laughs> uh, wine? Dude, come on. It's a woman's drink. I agree. I agree. Not a wine. <laughs> John got some biscuits. Love a nice biscuit. Not a Dunkin' biscuit, though. The nice biscuits. Or Nice biscuits, are they supposed to be? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes, yes. In all honesty, I always thought Simon was a bit of a lightweight, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, never, I never saw the graduation. I only just saw him sober or plastered. I never, I never caught the in-between part. <laughs> uh, we'll tell him, Big Kev, you said it. Uh, he says, no, he never made Blue Moon. Uh, he said he brewed uh, Thelis, or Kellis, which beer in the USA, though. That might be worth a look. Is that any good? We had that one. Uh, Asahi brewed by Shepherd Neen. Oh, that's interesting. That's You've ruined it for me. You've ruined it. Or used to be anyway, he said. Oh. I mean, it's not it's not quite as bad as InBev, let's be honest. Shouldn't be, should it? Oh, man, I'm going to be disappointed if it is. Ah, that's rather nice, that. Beer brewed and bottled in Italy. Italy? Oh, uh, what, Asahi? Yeah. Christ almighty. What is the world coming to? You think these lot own fullers now? It's worrying. Uh, Bill says, uh, John, are we getting a first date in the sub box this month, mate? You are. You're getting first date. There she is. It's, you. Oh, it's a belter. It's a beautiful thing. You've been enjoying it? I have. I had a sneaky one at the brewery yesterday. Nice. Sat, sat in my bar. So I sorted the bar out, cleaned it all up, and I was like, Ah, sit, me and Trigger Mike, and we're just going to have a pint. That's what we did. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? I've got, I've got to put an order in. I've been, um, yeah, I need to get hold of it. I haven't tried it yet, so I need to put an order in. Get that set with. Order beers. We'll, we'll, we'll hook you up, don't worry. Uh, CJR is in. He says, I should be tucking into a Lord's beer right now, but they never turned up. <laughs> but fingers crossed they turn up by Friday. Fingers yeah. crossed. Uh, Paul Goggins said, do you like tiger beer? Um, I, can't, I can't remember the last time I had tiger beer. Remember being quite gassy? That's my... I had one about probably two, yeah, about two months ago. I had that in a Sing High, Sing, whatever it is. Yeah. And I bought that other one, King Salto, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. And all three of those ones, the the, the tiger as well, it was just like, just didn't do it for me at all. I thought I've reviewed it. I thought I've reviewed it at one point. I don't, I don't remember it being particularly amazing. But it's um, is it is it not? Does it not kind of do the same thing that Cobra does? Just really easy drinking. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't unpleasant. It just wasn't anything. Yeah, they sit in that weird middle ground, don't they? Where there's nothing wrong with them, but there's nothing. Nothing to say. Yeah. It's like yeah. the best bit about it is the branding. Yeah. And um and there's no tigers in it, which really annoyed me. Bit annoying, isn't it? It's not made with bits of real tiger or nothing. So it's um, let down. Let down. 
But I've not had it for a while. I remember it being okay. That's about the best word to describe it, really. Uh, Captain Meek says, will we get to dunk our beef for the first day? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Filth. Filth and smut from Captain <laughs> Uh, when are you reviewing uh, how how garden? Well, we just reviewed the whole garden. I mean, what what would you guys give that out of a ten? I gave it I gave it a seven because it was just drinkable. Um, well, out of ten, should I say? Uh, I, don't, I don't I don't normally do out of ten ratings. So I need to form a very quick quick system in my head. But um, it's got well, it's got to be better than five, hasn't it? Because it's not bad. Um, yeah. yeah. It, it was drinkable. I think as I get to the bottom of it, the, 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 I want another one slightly less and less. So, I don't know, six, six, four. I'm going to go 6.4. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's specific. It is. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> I'd say for me, it's five. Bang in the middle there. But then yeah. I, it's not the style of beer I'd like to drink. So, I, you know, I feel bit like my can wine thing last night. It's not something I would normally mm. drink. Hell no. Hell no. That was hilarious last night. I was like, their branding, everything to do with their branding is pink, girly, and there's me and Al sat there <laughs> trying to review it. It was like, what are we doing? <laughs> Were they, were they any good though? I thought I, I, I had the uh, video loaded up and then uh, didn't get a chance to watch it today. Was it? How did you, did you like them? Uh, the, the surprising thing. So we bought some competition, some of their competition, and compared to their competition, they knock it out of the park. Right. That what what's surprisingly good is is the wine, the quality of the wine. Yeah. It's not amazing, but it's all right. So. Where the other can be one, I, I couldn't even. Oh gosh, it made your face screw up, and I was like, "That's flipping terrible." So, yeah, the, it's all right. I, if you if your missus is going to order some canned wine, get some. It's all right. Canned wine. Yeah, there's, not, there's not enough wine in a can, though, is it? That's the problem. They do big cans. They do big cans. Phil <laughs> uh, so said, "Can't wait, John." Uh, DHL eventually deliver. Told me today they didn't hear bugger all. Oh, the all, I, I change again, but they're all as bad as each other. Seems to be the case, doesn't it? <laughs> so, I think it's I think it's to do with your local depot. Because like, every time I've ordered from you, it comes straight straight in. It's like next day, seven off seven in the morning, just arrives like magic. Well, we had problems with the depot that collects. Um, I think, it, and it, it was just like, what the chuff is going on, and. Um, uh, I just complained. There was a few others like myself, and we all just laid in and said, "This is flipping rubbish." And then heads rolled, and they sorted it out. It's a lot better now than it was. Good, 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 good. Uh, Goldrake is shattered. It's all right, uh, spot on. Code, but no difference in my view. Used to get it when I was in my twenties. If the offie was out of, uh, what's say How do you say that? Crossish, crossish. Do you mean crossh? Do you think it means? Grosh. Maybe. Cross it. Cross it. Cross it. Cross it. Cross. Cross. Maybe it's another import that I'm not aware of. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that one. If you don't know, a crossage. A crossage. Uh, God, don't my mate has drunk 15 cans of Guinness today. But he's a killer, can he? 15 cans of it? That'd be hard. His poo's going to be black as coal tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going he's gonna to be feeling that tomorrow, don't you? Uh, catch me at do four bottles, super cold in my garden. The high, yeah, definitely, definitely. That that whole garden is drinkable if nothing else. Well, it probably gets better as the temperature rises as well. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be really. <laughs> <laughs> I will be. I am skip. Oh, you got to be a little bit. Yeah. It's happened before. You usually turn up next day, so hopefully tomorrow, there you go, you'll be sorted. Quids in tomorrow with all the beers. Have you tried the Ho Garden Rosé? I have not. I didn't know they made one. No. I no. knew long. I feel like that's going to be even worse in the ways that this one could be better, if you know what I mean. Yeah. That'd be dumb to have been that one, I could imagine. 
Yeah. Have you tried it, Neil? What did you think of it? Gold Drake says, no! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. But yeah, I quite enjoyed the whole garden, but it's not spectacular. I, I, I still prefer Blue Moon. I think the Blue Moon is, is that better, a better Belgian style wheat beer. But um, I've not had many, if I'm honest. And fans, bikes, and booze reviews are just coming to give us a good list there. So I have to write them down and try them out. I've had um, a ABK do one. Oh, really? Good beer. Yeah, I've had that. Um, that's very flavorful. That's a might even only be a half a pint job. Um, it's quite strong as well, I think, um, from memory. But um, yeah, worth worth a try though. It's not it's not unpleasant. It's just uh, it's intense. Yeah, so, you know, um, that's worth a try for sure. Maybe yeah. we should do a blue grab a blue moon and uh, give that a go. I've got I've got one somewhere actually. I don't think it's in the fridge at the minute, but I have got one. Have you got one, Paul? Nah. No, they don't last long when I get them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been Blue Moon shopping for a while. That's probably the only beer I haven't got in the house at the moment, to be fair. It's always yeah. it's one that you'd feel embarrassed if they haven't got it on the shelves, going up to one of the ladies and going, uh, have you got any uh, Blue Moon? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Like filthy. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> what did you just ask me? Uh, use DPD. They are the best. Their management sucks. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, a beer I can't spell. Grosh! There we go. <laughs> we did wonder. We did wonder. Uh, never seen that one, Neil. Available in the UK? <laughs> Neil says it was rubbish, the rosé. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. What's everyone drinking at home? Is everyone drinking? Is anyone drinking? I know it's a week of school night and everything, but is anyone drinking? Uh, Skip says, try it, try it with a more open mind. Which In what? reference to the uh, the fruity home garden. The fruity one, yeah. I think, he's, I think Skip's talking to me about uh, me uh, being biased to Lord's beard. But like I say, it's... <laughs> I said Weiss beer or Whit beer is not neither of those styles as something that I would go out and buy normally. It's just not my bag at all. Um, but some other people would love it. Yeah. Uh, we all know that John really wants a bottle of blue. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Bit of blue nun. Bit of blue nun. Bit, bit of blue, man. Bit of class. Bit of class. Love it. Uh, red wine is the wine I go for. I, do, I just, I'm not, I can't, I can't handle red wine. I love the odd bottle of the, the odd bottle, the odd glass of white every now and then. But um, no, can't do red wine at all. What about you? If you have wine, are you going red or white? Uh, okay. red. Oh. But I will drink a white. But I do like red. I'll, I'll, I'll drink wine. It, it needs to be good and annoyingly, annoyingly good. And as a result, annoyingly expensive for me to like, enjoy wine. I don't really. Whereas red wine, as long as it's not, it tastes like vinegar. I'll drink any of it. Well, yeah, I don't, no, I like I, I like wine. I, I mean, to be honest, if it's uh, got alcohol in it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. To be fair, that is true. If it's got alcohol in it, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm normally I'm normally all in. Uh, Dave says sitting in my local spoons, six hundred and sixty mil hazy Jane on the go. Ooh. In spoon, that, that bottle, six sixty, must be. Sorry, I've seen a can that big. Or just or spoons now just doing real arbitrary measures of whatever they want. Yeah, <laughs> can I have a, a six hundred and sixty mil glass of face? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Folks, if Blue Moon tastes great until the next day, probably why people get a slice of orange in it. I've never, I've never struggled with Blue Moon. I've sessioned the arse out of Blue Moon before. I've been fine the next day. I think it's one of the reasons why I like it, because then I never get a bad hangover. Blue Moon tastes great until the next day. Hello? Sorry, that's the wrong button there. <laughs> <laughs> what, who's looking? <laughs> Uh, Dave says, uh, yeah, bottle. 
Aye, right, bottle. Jim, 660 mils a pint, isn't it? Last, I was saying, last I kept, the pint was what, five, six, eight? Is that yeah, five, right. it's five, it's five, something with it that's not a whole number, so we'll go with that. Yeah. Sure, it's five, six, eight. I don't know. Little long. Uh, yes, I think the Rose sells in Tesco now. And again, you can get it on the PD as well. Blimey. Yeah. Blimey. Uh, Raggy says, I love you all. Bless you. Raggy. We love you. you what are you drinking in Junkyard? That's a good point. That's a good point. I reckon Raggy's uh, off, off cut because he loves I've us. Just, I've time. just caught a glimpse of an, the next message he sent, so I reckon so. <laughs> I love I love Raggy. He's, <laughs> he's great, isn't he? He's good. I've been watching it. Like every beer review he does is live, isn't it? So he's yeah. like telling you like what it like, what it's like there and then, which I quite like. It's a different um a different approach. Dave's uh, also have new Elvis juice, same yeah, stuff. Nice. Six sixty. I want it, want it, want it, want it to the old eight percent job if, if they're doing it. They do one. It's gone down, isn't it? Five one now. Or five one, yeah. Oh, that looks a bit ashamed, wouldn't it? It's proper random the amount that, isn't it? Uh, pint is it is five six eight. All right, I knew I wouldn't be far off. Dave says, "Cheers, Neil." Uh, that's a bit rude. Even though I've got a pint of oh, that's that is that that's gone in some Sainsbury's, isn't it? That one. Yeah, the Toy Story theme one, isn't it? Yeah. Look at a bit. That's a great name, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I've not been there at Sainsbury's yet. I do want to get some of that. Sounds good. Mm. Brio love their puns and they do it really well. They do. I picked up some belters in Sainsbury's the other day. They've um, they've done something with Beer Hawk, haven't they? Yeah, they've upped their game for sure. They've done something with Beer Hawk. It's a Glen Affric beer that's gone into Sainsbury's and it's a, actually it's a direct collaboration with Beer Hawk. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. I've got a can of it. I haven't driven at it yet. But they've also got um, Arbor's, Arbor's My Little Sabroni, which is a, Sabro, a Sabro single hot pale ale. Um, and on the back, it, it basically advertises um, Beer Wolf on it. So they've obviously done something to right. get. Interesting. They've, they've obviously done something yeah. to get other beers in. And a beer wolf collaboration means there's obviously some sort of deal being done there. But all of a sudden, Sainsbury's have come out of nowhere and they've got some absolute belters in there now. Yeah, well, like I say, I went in ours and like most of the good ones are gone. Right. They'd been really hammered. So they're obviously, they've obviously up in the game and they desperately needed to as well. So yeah, yeah, it's nice yeah. to see that they have done. It looks really good. What, what's it um, What's it like, Jim? Is it any good, the. Uh, who got a friend in me? I do fancy trying it. Scott and Wonder reviewed it and they and they approved. Oh, excellent! I love to get one. I love to get one. We've had a load of beers from um, from Brew York. We've got a big pile of them at the brewery that they gave us when we went and did the live feed with them, and um, all of them really good. Didn't have a bad one. So uh, I've only had one from them. I've got another one in the in the fridge ready to go. <laughs> Raggy, you sexy beast, you. <laughs> you sexy beast. Love it. Cheers, Raggy. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, Skip, can you jog on, please, mate? You're being a bit of a douche. Do you know what I mean? Uh, John, enjoyed your video of the tap room and brewery the other day? Good. I'm glad, I, I'm glad you liked it. Um, <laughs> I did my uh, little coffee walk today, which is the first time we've ever done that. So that was a bit of fun. That was good. I saw that. It was so messy though that most of it I filmed the ceiling. Because <laughs> it just crap everywhere. Look over there. Yeah. Uh, did you see Robbie Knox? He brewed his own Elvis juice. Lloyd Griffith said it was better than the actual Elvis juice. That I, I can't imagine that'd be pretty hard to believe. To be honest with you. Well, it was a it was a kit. It was a it was just a homebrew kit. The brood on, I presume, the collaboration with one of the, the homebrew kit people. It was about a year or so ago. Um, but apparently, it tasted nothing like Elvis juice either. There's a bit important to. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently, Brew Dog have um, a lot of the recipes for their beers on their website, 
for yeah. home brewers, which I think is really cool. Mm. That is quite admirable. The fact they're happy to put it out there. Yeah, um, that's cool. I think it's probably so hard to copy with different water anyway that no one else could really just do a rip off. Um, I don't know, maybe not. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know, John, you, you, you'd be able to say, would, would you be happy with other people knowing how you made yours? <laughs> <laughs> And to be honest, it's I, d I don't know. I think I don't, right. You can you can have the same ingredients and the same recipe, but I think your brewer makes the difference. Yeah. So it's like a cup of tea from my wife is spot on. My mate's missus Georgina makes a cup of tea, and it's flipping terrible. Just hope she doesn't watch them. It's yeah. got the yeah, I'm hoping she's not. <laughs> but it's the same stuff, it's the same ingredients, but yeah, somehow yeah. they're completely different. No, that's a good point, actually. And there's a lot more variables in beer than a cup of tea, so yeah, you've got no chance, have you? Really? That's that's all I'm saying. Gold Drake said he called it uh, Binday IPA. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's brilliant. Great. That's a great name. Uh, Jim says it was lovely. A slight marzipan taste, but really good. Did it have almonds in it by any chance? Which, uh, which beer was that? That's the um, new Nougat friend in me, the brew York. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah. okay. If it's got almonds in it, that would be where that where that came from. I've got to try it. I've got to try it, man. It, does, it looked great. The artwork on the can and that looks fantastic. Uh, drinking beer, watching three great beer reviews. Good lads. Bless you, Reggie. Bless you. Thanks, mate. I'm not really a reviewer, though, to be fair. So, true, true. You're, a beer, you're a beer commentator. I'm a beer onlooker from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. What well, you're on now, Reggie? How, how, many, how many pints do you have? Because, I mean, you've called us sexy beasts. You love us. <laughs> uh, we're, we're <laughs> this is great. Uh, will you guys have a long weekend for Memorial Day? Um, we've got a long weekend this weekend, haven't we? Yeah, mate. Is this May Day? It is. Or yeah. is this, this is May Day, isn't it? Late yeah. May, yeah. yeah um, we, have, we have a holiday this Monday, yeah. I, I don't know what I've got in the way of plans. I'm just trying to think now. We were meant to go on a big bike ride, hence why we bought all those mountain bikes last weekend. You're going off road, off road, off bike. road. Yeah, Micah was very disappointed with his bike because it had all the gears, but he was annoyed that he still had to pedal when he went uphill. <laughs> it is, it is annoying. Yeah, need an engine. Get an engine. I get one of them scooters. Yeah, he was mad. He was like, "It's rubbish," and I was like, "It's not. It's a really good bike." <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going camping in the forest this weekend. I'm going to try and do a live from just in the wilderness if I've got enough signal. Yeah, right. That'd be awesome. That would be good. That'd be epic. Yeah. Love the idea of that. Yeah, yeah. Love the idea of that. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm working. I'm working Saturday morning and Sunday morning, but I've got Monday off, so I'll have a few beers Sunday probably. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing any. Well, I, I've got a feeling that Lydia. It's got me doing tip runs. No. <laughs> no. That's where I feel it's going to go. Not great. What are you up to this weekend, Jim? You got much planned? Uh, I've never tried Elvis juice. Is it any good? I'm not a fan. You see Not my bag, but I do like... Um... Oh, what is it now? No, that's not a brew dog uh, beer. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to recommend a beer and then I've gone, no, that's not Brewdog. I don't know. I've just never been into them. That went down really quickly. Is it good? That was really nice. They're um, a good brewery. They are a good brewery, those guys. Yeah. North. That was lovely. Coffee and coconut porter, that was. That was lovely. Right. Yeah. I've, now, I've now acquired a beer fridge. Oh, hey, there we go. There we go. In the little one. What's the sign? I need to know what the sign is on the other side that you've put up. It's What's bothering me. This way. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, a golf, golf one at the top. 
And then there's the then there's the retro Guinness with the pelican. And then there's like a a, a battered and beaten up kind of Ferrari one, like a swamped out Ferrari, ratted out Ferrari logo underneath it. Nice. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's what I like about the beer festivals. The Great Britain Beer Festival, they have like a car boot sale of beer memorabilia and stuff there. You can pick up all sorts of crazy stuff. Signs and old beer glasses and old beer mats and things like that. You pick up yeah, some yeah. absolute belting things there. You really do. That's what I want. I've got a raid one. We're waiting on some very interesting <laughs> beer merch, which are sunglasses. They're on the way. Oh, yes. Taking forever, but they're on their way. Everyone's going to want these sunglasses this summer. You, 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 you won't look cool without them. <laughs> they're coming. They're coming. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of Elvis Juice. Uh, okay, you know, I, never, I never have been really. I don't think it's all there. I think you get a lot of other IPAs that have more of a grapefruit flavour than that one. You know? Yeah. It was always it's quite it was always quite an easy drink for for the percentage. Yeah, if you wanted to get more than eight percent, it was quite an easy way to do it. But obviously, it's not anymore because it's not that strong. Oh, what's that like? Oh, nice. Uh, I had this over Christmas, and I was a little bit disappointed with it. Okay, the vocation standards is a bit meh. Yeah. But yeah. I put it in a beer fifty two box the other day, so I thought I'd get it. Um, just bring it. I'm bringing it. I'm going to just back with it. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, used to be our new version. Thin it seems weaker than 5.1. Yep. I can totally, totally believe that one. Tip the brew dog. Yeah. It says on the tin chocolate nougat, almonds, a vanilla sticky sweet stout. Yeah. Where that marzipan comes from. That sounds good, though. Mm. Food dog aren't good. One nil is it really one nil with the rail? Oh, with the rail. Uh, you know what? I think though, brew dog, <laughs> they're just I don't think I think right, this is my theory, and I might be wrong. I think because they go to the masses now, they tone down the beer. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's not okay. too crafty. So it doesn't put people off. Then they know they know the masses still drink generally lower ABVs, readily available stuff. If they're too crafty, too obscure, then they're not making the money, right? So uh, if you think think about the amount of different beers they put into supermarkets, only three or four have ever stuck. Mm. Most of them start, most of them go in for a year or, or so and then come out, or less if it's really not very successful. Um so I wonder if they're just fed up of not finding anything else and they want more more long termers. Because obviously if we, they can if they can just do more volume, it's cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So. That was that was the one thing. It's just like brew dog are just so dominant now. It's just like they have like you, you get all your craft beer sections in supermarkets and you'll have like a whole row of brew yeah. dog beers, and then you're either looking above that or below that for the other stuff. So I don't see how they can be. They're not. They're not operating at a craft level anymore, and they haven't been for a long time. And it shows by the dominance on the shelves in the supermarket. Yeah, yeah. They're they're trying to take over the craft section, like the largest are taking over the opposite side. You know, yeah. and that's how you know they're not craft anymore, really. Yeah, it's true. Mm. There's some beers that I feel like are just dropped off the map. Certainly up here, you don't see Camden hardly anywhere. I don't know why that's, and especially Camden Hell's lager in a bottle. It's just I just don't see it in any supermarket. I don't know why. Um, and I haven't seen, um, although Sainsbury's today I saw Tiny Revel, but I haven't seen them in a lot of other supermarkets. They seem to have vanished. Sainsbury's have got my Sainsbury's. They've got Tiny Rebel, yeah, got Beaver Town, and they've got Brewdog, yeah. and they've had them in there for months. I'm talking Tiny Rebel, Beaver Town, and Brewdog. Could you think of any more three craft brewers that are less craft brewery than them three right now? You know what I mean? Yeah, not really. 
They're, 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 they're just they're, they're, they're chill trying to convince everyone that they're craft beer, and they're just not. I, mean, I used to I used to love Beaver Town beers, but they have gone proper nosedive now. It's for me, it's bad now. Tiny Rebel were I like Tiny Rebel. I just feel like I don't know. I feel like suddenly they're going to get it back and just be on fire again. Hopefully, yeah, they've, had a, they've had a lot of bad beers recently. I've not seen much good said about them. No, I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk many myself, to be honest, because I never, I never gel with them that well. But yeah, I've not seen any. No, I've not seen anybody raving about the quality of. Well, there was one. There was one. Did, did they do a jam donut one or something? Some people liked. That oh, bad. Yeah. yeah, I had that. The jam donut pale out. I thought that was horrific. Was it bad? Mm. Yeah, it was just. Just overly sweet, just full of sugar, yeah. which is horrible. Not good. Didn't work at all for me, that one. I know other people really liked it. And then they did another one, didn't they? They did a, like a double version of it, Pump Up the Jam, a double version. Uh, that, that was, yeah, that was the one I saw a few people say they liked. But... Yeah. No, I, didn't, I didn't like it at all. I didn't get on with it. Uh, Chris is in. Hello, Beer Dog. How are you, buddy? Hi, Chris. Hi, mate. Hope you're well, dude. Uh, Dave Wilson says, heading into London Saturday for a day's drinking. Oh, nice. Where about is she going, Dave? Where about is she going to be, brother? Not that Paul's stalking you. <laughs> but he, love it. he really likes your new sofa. I love it. <laughs> what's, the new, what's the new sofa? No, it's just that saying, isn't it? You say, I'm not, I'm not stalking you. And then you say, but I really like your new oh, sofa. Sorry. Okay, now I'm <laughs> I was, I was hoping for a genuine bit of intrigue story about an amazing sofa. <laughs> no, no, there's no story there. Where's the new furniture? Uh, Carl Jackson, hello to Chris. Uh, love a good tip run, John. Who doesn't love a good tip run? I remember oh, no. doing tip run. Oh, uh, see, I, I remember bonding with my dad, like chatting and rolling his cigarettes for him on the tip run in the Bedford Rascal. <laughs> the Bedford Rascal. Did you have one of those? Yeah, yeah. We had a Honda Acti van, which looked like a loaf of bread. It had a two-cylinder engine. <laughs> yeah. it just wore it. it wore, the van was great, but the engine wore itself out. Yeah. And then uh, we got a Bedford Rascal, and that like that like that did all right. That thing that did all right. It was it just rotted away. It just melted. Yeah, good. Uh, Gold Jack Records' his mates now had 17 Guinnesses. That's, oh. a solid effort. That's a solid effort. That's a hell of a session. How long has he been doing this for? He's not, he's not going to have an iron deficiency tomorrow. We know that much. No. Oh, he's going to be... I've never, never get a hangover from Guinness. I mean, I'll probably do after 17, but... He'll so. be made of iron at this rate. He won't be able to move. Gold <laughs> uh, Jack had Dave Wilson. Hello, guys. Says Chris... Clear from brew dog, spend my money on better quality beers. I just, I, yeah, I just don't see the point. Uh, every time I buy a brew dog beer, I'm disappointed with it. Every time, I think you, you're probably looking at a one in 20 chance of getting something half decent from them at the minute. They do still put out the odd thing that's that's palatable and for the price is all right, but it's really few and far between. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed Double Punk, I thought that was good. I'm not tried it yet, actually. I just haven't, I haven't had enough to make. A concerted opinion. Not no. really. I've had I've had very few. So it seems it seems a bit random. I thought double hazy was all right. I thought trip. I didn't. Well, what I thought the triple wasn't wasn't all that. No, um, no. I've said it a few times. Fake Empire. I think is decent. I know a lot of people weren't keen. Um, yeah, that wasn't bad. I would. I wouldn't. It was a sour, wasn't it? It was their idea. Yeah, it's, yeah. It was. It was. A, I think it was a sour IPA. But it's not particularly sour. It's just a bit. It's got a bit of a bit of a kick to it, but nothing, nothing crazy. Yeah. It's got quite a nice body on it, and yeah. it's quite potent without being obvious. Yeah, it was just it was, for them. I thought it was very good. <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I reviewed that one with Abby, and I remember saying they might be onto something with it because it felt different from anything else I'd had. Yeah, um, oh, yeah. There's nothing else they can say. Oh, it's a bit like this beer. There's not. I don't think quite like it. No, it, it stood out in that sense. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. That was a Morrison's one, wasn't it? Fake Empire. Yeah, that's where I got mine from. I don't know if they did it anywhere else or not. Have a look. I wouldn't mind it again. Um, but yeah, the Double Punk was the last really good one I had. And the reason I liked it was because it reminded me of Punk. It reminded me of the original Punk. The original one, yeah. And it was supposed to be a double version of it. So uh, if you want Punk IPA, 
or you've never had Punk IPA, um, if you want to know what it was like originally, buy a can of Double Punk. Not, that's kind of what Punk IPA used to be like. Yeah. Uh, Sharks and hope to Chris. The noise with it, Brew Dog can't do both craft and popular given their capacity. Yeah, they, kind of, they kind of do in that they put out beers with a short, you know, a short run, but most of them still aren't that good. So yeah, I don't, I don't know enough about them. I know that I want their helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> and, their, and their fleet of hotels. Man, if I had a helicopter, Lord's Brinko helicopter, and a hotel and hotels, I'd be like. I've done all right. Done all right. Happy days. I think they should get a jet, though. You, you know, I think that's, you know, complete. they need a jet. They need a jet. Yeah. You've got to complete the set, haven't you? Complete the set. Uh, Bid of review. So, hello, Kev. Uh, Paul Goggin. We, we get it here, John. Marks and Sparks. Camden. Oh, oh, really? I but like I, it. I don't mind it. It's a good, it's a good lager, isn't it, Captain Hells, to be fair. It is a good lager. It's all right. I always find it a bit under. I always think it, I always remember it being better than it is, and I'm only saying that because I had it a couple of weeks ago and thought it. Then I was just like, I remember this being good, and I was like, it's good, but just maybe just lucky in a little, little bit. Maybe not quite worth the price tag on it. I don't know, but, but they're, they're they're AB and Bev as well, aren't they now? Yeah, they got bought out, didn't they? So yeah, that could exactly. be why. <laughs> <laughs> even even more reasons for me not to buy them. Arsenal and AB and Bev. Job's done, really. Job's done. I'm sorry, Paul. I don't, Paul <laughs> Goggin, I don't know what to say. I quite like it. But uh, Paul hates it because something to do with the football clan thing. It's not, it's not a bad beer. I'm, I can't even sit here and say it's a bad beer because it's good. It's a good lager. I just I can't buy it now. I cannot fund them because they're pumping money into that absolute shower of whatever you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my mate gave me three cans of wife beater. Maybe I'll try one now. <laughs> you never had a Stella before? You never had one? Yeah, I've had a Stella. I've had loads in the past. Yeah, say, I've, I've grew up drinking Stella. Yeah, I, I remember being sick off Brighton Pier after drinking a lot of Stella. <laughs> uh, always a red. Evening, gentlemen. Hope all is well. How are you, buddy? Mm. How are you, mate? We Hope love you. always a red. What a legend. Hey, well, thanks for popping in the Discord today. Oh, I need to check Discord. I haven't looked at it today. Yeah, there's some messages for you, actually. Oh. Well, I oh. oh, I see. Uh, Chris says, I haven't been struck by any of the tiny rebel peers. I've tried. Yeah. Yeah, I've got me. I, I really, I really, really love their branding, and I really want them to do well. You know, like, I can imagine this is a bit like being a Spurs fan. I want them to do well. I like their ethos. I like the fact that they care about the people that work for them. But like, yeah, it's all a bit nonplussed. Yeah, they got all the marketing and none of the. Uh, it, it, they look good, but there's no end product for me. The tiny rebel. It's a they're, shame. They're, they're, they'll come back around. They'll come back around. Uh, but they, who owns them now, or who do they get funding from? No. No one, as far as I know. Still independent, aren't they? Yeah, they wouldn't sell out. Because this is what I mean, this is why I like them, because apparently the rumour on the street, and I have no fact to back this up, it's just rumour, is that he was offered money for it, or they were offered money for it, and he wanted to make sure that everybody would keep their jobs. Right. And right. they wouldn't agree to that. Just... just just doing some mid 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 video research, I could have sworn I read something. Oh well, know. maybe they've been bought out then. Maybe I'm wrong. If I wouldn't be surprised if they had, let's put it that way. If they had been bought out, I wouldn't be surprised because things for me, for my personal taste, I think things have gone horribly wrong. The tiny rebel in the last two years, eighty, yeah, but yeah, pushing two years now. Since I last had a proper good tiny rebel beer, we need to go and see him and encourage them. Yes, <laughs> come on, guys, you could do that this. Sounds, that sounds slightly threatening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've, often, I've often been told that. We we'll turn up, bring back the good beer. That's all we want. No, no, no. It looks like they are still 
uh, privately owned, which is even more concerning. What are you doing? Yeah, who's working there? Who's yeah. sabotaging your recipe? <laughs> I feel, feel bad about saying I don't like them now, but um, yeah, I want to like like John. I want to like them. The branding's good, but yeah, their brand is fantastic, isn't it? Like really, really. Oh, good. looks amazing. They are cool. He's not trying to stella. That's incredible. Uh, how, have you, how have you got this far in life without trying stella? That's, that's, that's madness. That's madness. Brewdog Ealing, McKellar Tap Takeover, then Shoreditch, the Goose Island. Oh, nice. Pint of ESB and Fuller's nearby. You gotta have you gotta have a pint of ESB if you're coming down town, mate. You gotta. You gotta. That sounds yeah. like a good afternoon. A bit jealous if I'm honest. I, I fancy it. I've never been to the Goose Island boozer. I do fancy that one. Yeah, I'd like to have a go. It's been so it's been a long time since a pint of ESB. That sounds that's what I'm most jealous of. Yeah, me yeah. too. The ESB. Paul bought me for Christmas a big uh five litre ESB. Oh, it was glorious. It was good. You can't beat it, can you? They had a keg, a keg of BSB. Oh. That's all anyone wants for Christmas. That's all everyone wants. True. No, the losing 1 0. Happy days. Uh, oh, he's been on it since 1. Lime. Oh, dear. That's why he's done 17. Oh, no, since 1's now 8. He's on about 2 an hour. He's on a steady trajectory. That's a good rate. That's a good rate. Uh, been laughing at Raggy doing lives all day from breweries. Good I've, not, I've not been on YouTube. I've got to catch up with this. This is fantastic. No wonder he's Yeah, I saw one video pop up earlier from one from one pub. I didn't get a chance to watch it, and I thought it's kind of assumed. He didn't say it was a live. I assumed he'd just been in an uploader room, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Good on him. Careful. Careful, careful, Raggy. Don't end up in the wrong end of town doing that, please. <laughs> 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 Raggy live from the third and arms as he loses eight teeth. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, third and horn, not third and arms. I don't know if you're hating on the wrong place. Um, Jim says, John, haters just hate. Never mind it. Yeah, it's the, we nice. got to, we got a, we've probably got one knobhead in here tonight who's just coming in with different accounts. So I just keep ignoring his messages. It doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, I worked in the motor trade for like. 20 odd years there isn't much i haven't heard or seen or done or been called i don't care it doesn't bother yeah. me in the slightest so, someone's got a problem if you're still watching mate get a fucking hobby jog on mate <laughs> <laughs> well that's okay. where i'm not even that bothered i mean to be no. honest i feel a bit sorry for you if, yeah you know if you feel that way but i'm not I, 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 the thing is, you, you'd never come to anyone's face and talk like that so i pretend that you're anything clever doing it on here you're a mug jog on Go yeah, away. It's, it's all right. I mean, like I say, it's fine. It's not, if that's the way he sees it, then that's the way he sees it. I'm... Just, just, just remember that. Next time you type something, just think, would I say that to someone's face? And if the answer's no, don't do it. That, that's that's my response to it. Don't be something you're not. Just piss off. I'd still laugh, oh. you, even if you said it to me face. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd give him a slap. That's what I'd do. And then oh. it would be some shit. Uh, go, Jake. <laughs> I I pick up a, a can of dub punk IPA there. Maybe. Maybe. George says, I've just enjoyed an Erdinger. Lovely beer. However, I felt that it wouldn't be respected in Germany due to the lack of banana and clove notes. It's a bit more um it's a bit more spicy, isn't it, George? I find the Erdinger. A bit more of a savory vibe than that one. I uh, have had the Erdinger. That's probably one, if I was gonna say out of wide spears that I've picked up and drank. Erdinger is the one I have I think if you compare it to the big, the big three, the most available ones, probably Erdinger, Weihen Stefana, and Franz and Karner, right? They're the, they're the three big ones. And I think for me, the Erdinger is more savoury than the other two. I think Franz and Karner is more banana-y, and then Weihen Stefana, I think, has a really nice balance of the two. Um, but I, I, I like all three of them. I think it's a solid beard, George. I've always really enjoyed it. Uh, oh, Erdinger Blue, the non-alcoholic one. I've had that. I've had that. It wasn't terrible, actually. It's all right. It's not bad. If you're going like you're going to a barbecue and everybody's drinking beer and you're driving, Erdinger, a couple of cold Erdinger Blues, 
You'll have it. You'll be fine. It seems, like, uh, it seems like a lot of the German and Belgian stuff in alcohol free forms the way to go. Uh, they're the one the only the only ones I've ever heard anything good about. So, I, mean, I guess you get that you can distract from it easier, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe that's what it is, maybe because there's more flavour in there. But they seem yeah. to do it well. I agree with you. Uh, Joel uh, drank a Hogarden recently, still solid beer. Yeah, I, I, I was just saying, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. It's not, it's not incredible, but it's massively drinkable. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was good. It was good. It was just all right. It just, <laughs> I just found it all right. I mean, it, yeah, it's just all right. Maybe I'm the wrong person to review it though. No, there'll be loads of people out there who hate it, so don't worry. <laughs> it's not the, it's not there's the no. Idea. No, no one's not in the right position to review something. Everyone's got a right to an opinion. Whether you work within the industry or not, you've got a right to an opinion. You know, I'm sick of people saying otherwise. Uh, never had a Stella. That's baffling. Baffling. Chris can't touch Stella. Just tastes like piss to me. <laughs> not great. It's not great anymore. It used to be really good once upon a time. Just, just headache fuel for me. Don't mind the taste of it, but just, yeah. Next day is not good. Hello, Thomas. How are you, mate? Hello. He's back, again. He's back in. He's back. He's back. Always red. Does anybody on here know what day summer is this year? <laughs> well, yeah, flipping it, man. Put the day off. It's been wet, isn't it, mate? It really oh. has. Is it raining still here? I'd take, I'd take a punt on today. This this year's summer is going to be. I'm going to work out the day. It's going to be on. It's yeah. It's just literally stopped raining. The plants are dripping now. Yeah. And it's going to be on the fifteenth of June, and I tell you why. It's because I'm going to do a track day on the fourteenth. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the fourteenth, the fourteenth is going to rain, and then the fifteenth. And if you're lucky, through to the following weekend, the weather's going to be all right. <laughs> and the sixteenth's my birthday, so we're likely to have snow. Yeah. And, and a lockdown probably. It's the longest day on the 21st, so it needs to sort itself out. But it's a good weather between now and then, ideally. What track are you doing, Tom? Uh, Donington. Oof. It's lo lo local, isn't it? I only, have to, only have to drive for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's not Donny. far, is it, Donny? Got another bit of Donny. Only go to a download festival. No download again this year. Gutted. No, no there is. They're doing, a, they're doing a trial now. Are they? Got announced today, yeah. Ooh. I like yeah. it. I like it. I might have to look into that. Yeah. I need some music in my life. What, what, which, uh, which years have you been to download? I went 2018. I think I went 17 as well. But I think the last one I went, we had Iron Maiden headline for Saturday, Slipknot headline for Sunday. Yeah. And I can't remember yeah. who headlined the Friday. That's how good the weekend was. I can't remember who headlined the other day. Yeah, that was the last one I went to, I think. Yeah. Oh, just love it. Love it. Love uh, it. Love it. Uh, beer dog reviews, I can't touch it. I go into convulsions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit extreme, Kev. Darko Breed. No! Uh, they're Nut Brown A. Who's, who's the Nut Brown A? Who does that? Brown A. Uh, what do you think of Beer Moretti? Uh, again, never been a massive fan. Uh, you used to like it until they started brewing it here. Ah. Yeah, I think, to be honest, with that, when it was newish, and I still, if I went to a pub and they had like Carling, Foster's, and they had that, I'd have it every time. I don't, and I don't think it's, I, w I probably wouldn't dislike it. It's, it's all right. It's not too bad. It's not craft, but it, it's all right. Yeah. It, was the, it, it used to be a bit smoother and a bit more refined than Peroni was. If you were, if your choice was between two big Italian beers, but um, I'm not sure it's better now. It's made in the UK. I think Peroni's probably taking the lead again on that one. It has a, it has more of a multi flavour, doesn't it? Beer Moretti, yeah. without at the same time, without without actually tasting multi. If that makes any sense. Well, it's not any. Yeah, it's not. It's not heavier bodied. No. Retains that that refreshingness, but yeah, it has a, it has a, a like a multi sweetness to it, but it, like yeah. exactly. Peroni's very, very, very crisp. Yes. Whereas, yeah. Yeah. The Moretti is a bit more rounded. Yeah, definitely. 
uh, everyone, let's take Rip, uh, take a trip to Tiny Rebel to sort them out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if I rocked up? Right, I'm here, boys. Let's do this thing. They'll be yeah. like, "What the chuff are you doing here?" With your, little, with your little tin pot brewery. Yeah, yeah, see, why does everybody... Is that a thing? Why is it that Stella... Is it just that we all had it when we were young and it ruined us and then it stuck in our memory? Well, back in the day, when it was 4.2%, yeah. But now, it's was it 4, 6 now, Stella? Over I, thought, I thought it stayed above 5. I thought it was 5, too, is it not? Oh, no, no, it's 4.6 over here now. Is it? I'm not drinking for a bit. Oh, when I first started drinking it, it was 5.2, but that's when I was about like 17. Yeah. And it went to 4.8, and it was like that for years. And it's just the beginning of this year, it dropped down to 4.6. And it's just now, it's just like nothing like what it once was, you know? Not good. Strange. That's a good point. See this. Well, when Stella bought out a four percent, it became known as the wife saver. I remember when they bought that out; it was called like literally it was called Stella Four, wasn't it? They made a big yeah. deal over the fact that they bought out a four percent version of it. Now the original was only point six above it. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought four, I thought the four was all right. It didn't have the same headache in it. It wasn't a great beer, but it wasn't it wasn't awful either. It was not. It was an okay run of the mill session margin. So why do some beers? I know why Weiss beers give you worse headaches, but why do some beers give you worse headaches than other beers of the same ABV? It's got to be, it's got to be chemicals used in the brewing process, surely. They don't, they don't really use... I can't I can't think of what chemicals you'd use. I don't know, because I can drink, could drink eight pints of Guinness and not have a headache. I mean, I might feel ill, but I'm not going to have a headache. I can't drink Budweiser. Because I turn into a sewage pipe. It just <laughs> doesn't matter what I do. If I drink that stuff, I'm dying. Yeah. Straight out of the other end. Love yeah. it. And the Silly Beers is made out of rice. So it's not even like wheat. I know. John, John Morris is elaborating. The nut, I've heard good things about this. The Nut Brown Ale from some Tiny Rebel. Uh, Imperial Porter they bought out this week is superb. Oh. They're back on it. There you go. If I, I could be, I'd have to give them a go. Like I say, I'd, I'd almost given up on Tiny Rebel. But if they're doing good beers, Joel, I'll take your word for it, mate. And I'll try them out. I'll try both of those. Interested to see them bring out a nut brown ale. That's not a very popular choice, is it? I think brown ale is not. I'm, I'm, I'm excited by it because I like, I like uh, old school stuff, but. The Americans love a brown ale, don't they? They love a brown ale. They're always knocking them out. Brown, love a brain. I like it, brain. Brown ale. Interesting. Uh, my mate give me the option of Carly's, Stella Foster's, so I'll tell you my Stella's. The other two beers are shocking. <laughs> How's yeah. the band one going down? Very good. I do like this. As I say, it's not my normal go-to style of session, but I'm really enjoying this. Is that? It is. You'll like the Kolsch, Tom. I'll send you some Kolsch. You can try it out. Thanks. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. It's like on band one. That's the first thing yeah, I noticed when I took a sip. It was, it was yeah. like thin gravy. Do you know why? Do you know why it's thicker? So when we did it, we used a strain of verdant yeast, and it didn't... Um, we Our sort of go-to yeast that we like to use a lot is Nottingham uh, yeast. And we, we also use, a, obviously, a specific one for Pilsner. And we used uh, verdant cheese for this. And it didn't chew up all the sugars in quite the same way. So it it like, it like got to 6%, but it, it wouldn't go... Like, normally, if you did it with Nottingham, it'd go, if you let it, it'd go to, like, 7 plus. But with this, it was running out of steam at 6 so the yeast was like, I just can't eat anymore. So it gave a sort of more slightly sweeter, thicker mouthfeel. And mm. we really liked it. But I was like, was that an accident, Mike? And he was like, no, I, I figured it would do that. I was like, you flipping show off. <laughs> <laughs> it's testament to Verdant, though, isn't it? Because I know you're not the only brewery that have started using Verdant yeast lately. So um, they're obviously onto a good thing over there. 
Yeah, the, 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 and it, it's um, we quite like to do our like cultivate our own yeast and crop and do that. Our friends at Mallinson's do it, um, and uh, we keep talking about getting some yeast off them and doing a beer like from from Mallinson's, really like a, a lo really local one, and see what it does. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's a it's a whole nother thing and we're we're down at the moment. So we had nine members of staff and we are down to two. Okay. No, three. What am I about three? God, somebody just feels unloved. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you missed yourself out. Yeah. Yeah, I missed myself out, yeah. So, yeah, so um yeah, we've got some new staff coming on, so it's all exciting at the moment. Where's the, um, where's the Nottingham yeast from? Is that from a brewery? Or? No, so the Nottingham yeast is just like there's loads of different strains of yeast yeah. that are just like cultivated specifically in labs for, you know, they're that yeast. And that's what Nottingham is one of those. But it's a fantastic traditional yeast and you can do, it's so versatile and puts up with so much. It's just an incredible uh, I know some brewers will turn their nose up at Nottingham, like it's like, you know, but it's it's brilliant. We think it's fantastic. It's an absolute belter. What I'd like to do is create a hybrid of it and see what we can get. <laughs> like cross Verdant. Yeah, Verdant's yeah. yeast and Nottingham yeast and see what we get. That'd be interesting. I'll have, to try, I'll have to try and get some. I'd like to do a homebrew with that, given that I'm in the place that it's named after. It'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. <laughs> Shark says, my sister always has Stella. I told her it was rubbish. She now has Corona. I just bring my own. No. <laughs> That's all you can do, Kev, is bring your own beer, mate. You can't, you can't rely on anyone else. Poor old Kev. Poor Kev. Bless him. Of all them incredible brews he's got on his doorstep, his sister's got Stella and Corona. Oh, yeah. Not this good. is wrong. Corona, such rubbish. Yeah, 100%, mate. Anything you have to add fruit to ain't worth it. Ain't Two worth full it. stops. Exactly. Uh, Raggy and Bullman's been going around different brewery tappers in Nottingham drinking Imperial stuff. No wonder they're off their tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I didn't know they were drinking Imperial. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Uh, well, I, know, I know where he started from the video I saw earlier, which means logically he can only end up in one place, and that's Neon Raptor, and that might kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I'll have to if check. If he makes it that far. This is awesome. I'll have to check yeah. this out. Uh, CJ Art has just cracked the Vorsteiner. Uh, had too many craft brews today. Vorsteiner's are still a lovely beer. I still really enjoy that. I know a lot of people don't like it lately, but I still think it's cracking. I've like just it. got the... Do you know what it is? It's got a weird yeasty taste that I swear down it never had. I swear I'm, quite, down. I'm quite sensitive to that yeasty flavour in beer. And I swear are, down that that I never got that before, but maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love it when people say that. They don't just swear, they swear down. They swear, swear down. I swear, I swear down. like I swear <laughs> up, right? And and then down. <laughs> ah, you're That's pop I used to blood. Hey, drinking it. Uh Cole Jake's this yeah, jog on. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he's got bored or Turned on a video game or something. Um, I like video, uh, I like Erdinger beer, very nice. It is, I like it. It's a good beer, man. Uh, it's all sort of bad. It, that's all good, brother. That's all good, brother. You're here. It's all the matters. Uh, go on, Paul. Yeah, piss off. Damn straight, man. Um, every, everyone's welcome here. Everyone's welcome. If we just want to have a beer and have a chat, man, you're, you're, we love you. But if you want to come on here and be a dick, do it somewhere else. Just not bothered, you know. Do it somewhere else. Um, what beers would you say are the best for minimal hangovers? Oh, well, I went out last week and had a lot of Titanic style, and I was absolutely fine. Yeah. Wow. So maybe it's the OT beer as opposed to the. See, this is the other thing. A lot of people don't realise they have intolerance to wheat. Yeah. So if you have a lot of sort of most beers have got barley and wheat in them, mm -hmm. so it can be that that makes you feel crap, not 
not the like if I have a Pizza Hut or something like that pizza, I I get the same symptoms of a hangover. That's the salt, though, isn't it? In those. No, no, because I like I feel it's the body, the whole body, not just that, like I can drink gallons of water and I still feel dreadful. Mm-hmm. And it's the wheat because I know if I did the York test, I bet I'm I bet I have some level of gluten intolerance. However, I like my beer too much to even think about doing the test. Yeah, don't, 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 don't want to know. I, I'm not ruining my life for that. No, I'm sorry. No, I. So uh, I'd rather knock a year off my life and uh, eat whatever I want. That seems sensible. I always find it with craft beer, I don't very often have bad hangovers, generally. Um, I, I mean, mm. I, the, last, the last time I had a really proper session, I went to the Mad Squirrel Tap Room, which is probably my closest tap room, and I had nine pints of their Hop Fest, which is a 3.8% gluten-free pale ale and I, I, I swear it's the most flavoursome pale ale you'll ever drink with that low ABV in it and yeah. the next the next morning I woke up like I hadn't had a drink I wasn't dehydrated or anything it was crazy interesting that it's gluten-free as well though. yeah I don't know if that's got anything to do with it but if you fancy a flavourful pale ale with a relatively low ABV try that one and see what you think but um, it's really hoppy. There's loads of hop character in it. Only 3.8%. Like I say, I had nine pints of the stuff. I was eating. I had chips and things like that with it, which probably no, helped. So bad. Cheeky. Um, but yeah, I was fine the next day. Like I hadn't had a drink. It was great. No, yeah. Nine pints is still a good, even at, even at that percent, that's still a lot. That's yeah, still yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'll, I'll thought I might feel something, but even on the way home, I wasn't drunk. I was just like, a bit tipsy, you know. Everything was hilarious. Brandon Art, I would say, do not drink Weiss beers or... Lagers, uh, lagers guaranteed to give me a hangover. Any yeah, I, I'm the same. If you drink, if you're on Stella, regardless of the ABV, or Cole, no, probably not Carlsberg, Carlin, Budweiser, anything like that, if you're drinking that all afternoon, you're going to feel it the next day. I reckon Weiss beers and Saison's, anything where they're high in esters, they'll yeah. give you banging, like, the worst hangover of all time. Yeah, I think, yeah. But, I mean, for me, it was really clean stouts, guaranteed no hangover. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, the better, the better quality, the less of the hangover, I yeah. think, in general. But, you know, if you're going to be sessioning something, session something that's made well. Less carbonated than the clearer it is as well. I'm going to yeah. get a beer. Do it. Do it. Uh, Paulana Weiss beer is the best. I quite enjoy Paulana. That's a decent bison. They do a decent bison. I'm sure uh, I can't remember it. Gold Jake, Ryan, Stefan Art, and Fancy Kana. Very good. Yeah, I like both of those. Very good beers. Uh, Schneider Weiss. Schneider Weiss. You can get Schneider Weiss 7 in Sainsbury's now, believe it or not. Yeah, I think it's two pound a bottle, so good value as well. 500 mil bottle. Uh, Jim asks, Any of you fancy Orville? Is that like the green duck thing? (laughs) (laughs) I'm not not sure what that is, Jim. Is the next next comment from Keith Harris? (laughs) I've got at the brewery a really cool vintage orange Orville. Uh, like crate, plastic crate. It must be really old, but I don't know how we've acquired what, it. it looks what is it? What is it, John? What is it? <laughs> I don't know what Orville is. It must be a beer, unless it's milk. Because it's so. a milk crate. Let's have a look. Let's find out. I've never had it, Jim. I've never had it. What, what are your opinions on it? Is it good? Uh, blue is nice, uh, but game changer was the Heineken Zero. Very drinkable and sociable. Social apple. Sometimes you're uh, I'm, um, I'm being an idiot. I think I've I think I've drank it on my channel. I don't think I've tried the Heineken Zero for. I'm going to have to try that one. Uh, really surprised how nice the Hobgoblin King Goblin was. Six point six percent. Wasn't expecting much being a Masters. But superb malt, dark fruit, damson. I've got bubblegum notes like a Belgian brew. I really like wow. it. 
I'm with you now. I really like that's, it. That's interesting. So I got. Um, I mean, which, which would have like my my introduction to real beer many many years ago. So, so much so I put a, a goblin sign on that side as well. Um, nice. Um, but I don't rate King Goblin. I don't think it's too much. I don't know. I just find it a bit. I'm not sure. I just would rather have an original one. I don't know why. Yeah, I've never, I've never had King Goblin, so I can't comment. It's I don't think it's certainly not spectacular, but I've always every time I've had it, I've enjoyed it. But it's obviously not to the point where I'm like, oh, I need to get another one. You know. Oh, oh, so no. I, I, I thought it was, but yeah, it's a Belgian Belgian number. A Belgian beer, Orville. So you said Orville, I just saw a green duck. That was that was my. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and now Jim's going to have to go and Google all, all the green ducks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like, what are they talking about? Yeah, I Google. Wish I could do it. Google, our, our orbital was a duck with, with someone's <laughs> foot. Um, very different, very different to that yeah. one. Which, which, in hindsight, made him the most innocent, innocent of the 70s TV entertainers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. True story. Who the thunk it? Who the thunk it? Uh, Chris has been glorious here today. Had an outdoor dog training session this evening. Certainly a nice treat to get home to see you guys. We're glad to have you here, dude. We uh, are. We love you, man. I bet two of you was like all the other dogs. Pit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you dogs are doses. I've been doing this since I was three months old, mate. Can we do it? It's like that. You do it like this. Dogs <laughs> <laughs> are rubbish. Oh. That dog is so common. Jim says, "Ooh, Donington, what are you driving, Tom?" Uh, my my little fake Italian uh, Mazda, uh, a bar spider. His little Fabrica Italiana Automobilia Torino. That's that one. That one. Uh, Which just, remind, it just reminded me, I need to get insurance for it before I put it in the wall at Donington. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they got Hogarden on the PD. I would buy that if I had a perfect drive. I would buy a keg of it. I would. I wonder if the Hogarden that you would get on perfect draft would be different. Like, isn't the Heineken different? Yes, the Heineken's brewed in uh, Netherlands, isn't it? It's actually, actually from Amsterdam. Yeah, it's actually a legit, legit Heineken. Yeah, right. I am going to go a quick wee. So you guys hold the fort. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. A quick way. You've got to wash your hands. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sing the national anthem, you slag. <laughs> how, many, how many beers you had, John? How many? I had, I had that hot garden. <laughs> but I didn't have all the hot garden. There's still some left. But I was a little asahi. I'm not going to drink much tonight. I've got casking up to do tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, brewing so on Friday. Since on the Friday live, I'm going to be otherwise. I'm going to be busy again driving to the uh, to our camping the weekend. I'm going to represent tonight another. Come on, Roy. That is unless your Friday event goes on late, in which case I might join from a very dark woodland. Well, I'm thinking of starting a bit later tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Friday. Friday, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing a six o'clock start. Only because I'm brewing. That's fair enough. I wouldn't normally be brewing, um, but yeah. we're low on staff, so I need to uh, help. What have you done? You and your pouring, man. My other one, yeah, but you didn't. That one was great, and you didn't say anything. <laughs> you know, you know that one. That it's one's a bit more fizzy, though. It's, it's, Roy, Roy's looking a bit lively. Um, yeah, I, I introduced a few people to uh, both of these beers over the weekend, and uh, it was it was positive words all around. Nice. Uh, I like it. Um, I think we, so. There's an, a hop we found called Green Bullet. Mm. So I'm thinking like a Steve McQueen Bullet Mustang inspired beer. Ooh, nice. Sixty eight fast back on there. Yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, I, I thought that would be a, a, a bit of uh, a bit of fun to complete the car range. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, like the, I like the car range. I like the car range. The artwork's amazing. We got a bit of negative press over it, actually, because people um, were like, cars and beer, drink driving. I was like, no, it's got nothing to do with that. I remember you saying that. It's just sit there, just, just, just pop the merit racing on the weekend and tell me whose advertisements you see, just, just, just real quick. Yeah, it's true, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Such a non, it's such a non thing, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I didn't, I didn't crack open the, um, the, the keg of uh, Drunken Taylor. Didn't, didn't, get, didn't get around to that, so I've got that to look forward to when I come back from my. Take it on camping, take a keg with well, you. I was going to, I thought about it, and I thought it's not going to be cold enough, though, is it? It needs to be proper cold now. Two yeah. miles away to Red's house, two miles away. Ma! Yes. Ma! Who's, who's, who's near uh, Donald? Sorry, who was that? I missed that. Always, Always a red. red. Always, oh, right. Always a red's in my neck. Of the that's a Tuesday, thanks. I'll book it off. Enjoy the track, Dave. It's literally two miles from my gaff. Don't be making too much noise. I'm a bit worried the uh, decibel limit for the day is quite low. We'll see. Ah, that's fine. Always red. Don't buy a car, a house, buy a racetrack, and then moan about noise. Yeah. I love it. But then, a bit better than that. Don't buy a car. Don't buy a house and have a racetrack and an airport because they're right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say he must be noisy there. Got a little airport right there, haven't they? Uh, and, uh, sorry, I'm not I'm sorry. A racetrack, an airport uh, with the racetrack that holds a heavy metal festival every year. <laughs> 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 Poor, actually, I'm feeling more and more sorry for Always a Red, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like, it's like no, it no, I feel bad for him. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, bless you, man. It's, um, I, yeah. I've moved on. Oh, what's that? ABC. ABC. Oh, in with their coffee shop of horrors. This is a plant-based white breakfast stout. Ooh. And there it is. That, yeah. That's nice. a white breakfast stout. There we go. Have you had many white styles? No. The only one I've had was from Mad Squirrel. That's the only one I've ever had. I had Mad was Mad Squirrel. Squirrel. That's what I want to know. Squirrel. Uh, I, I had one from a local brewery called Bangley Elephant, which is a great name. Um, oh, yeah. it, was, uh, great. It, was, it was a properly experimental beer. It was nice. It was one. It was definitely a you drink one and done kind of thing, but it was um, it was good. That's so weird. Trav in Australia sent me a white stout, and I quite liked it. It was quite mm. Zytho brewing. Part of, my, part of my brain can't get around it, though, because it's just like, surely that's just a brown beer. The, the aroma's baffling. Yeah. It messes, it messes with your head a little bit. Yeah. It smells like uh, like, a, like a pig took a dump in it or something. It's really like... Well, that's not the best description. No. <laughs> it smells really farmhousey. Right. Yeah, that, that's like a saison though. A saison will smell farmhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His face. That's <is> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I feel like I should like this, but uh, I don't. When it's said with bated breath, you know what it really means is this tastes like ass. It tastes really, really odd. Five point six percent this one, and there's nothing weird in the like, in the ingredients: malted barley, oats, maltodextrin, hops, yeast, coffee, vanilla. What's the, mal what's the maltodextrin doing there? It's not that's not that common. Um, can just give you a bit more bite. It can up the ABV a little bit. All right. Bit, bit of it's just just like putting sugar in it basically um yeah a little bit i mean it's not a bad thing i don't i don't think it would it, it tastes really herbal like really herb like, like fresh herbs have gone into it really odd might be the hops mm. it's interesting it's really interesting that's the only word i can use to describe i'm not sure if i like it or not don't forget that's going to be a massive jump from Ooh. drinking what you were yeah well the last one i had was uh the chocolate stout yeah, naughty, naughty but nice, wasn't it? Yeah. You'll get, you get to the end of it and go, that's really nice now, and then it'll be gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got Columbus, Columbus hops in it. That's not nothing, nothing too outrageous, though. No, that's a really odd beer, but it's interesting. 
Chris did download six and seven, did Buck and twice, Hellfest three times, done Bloodstock for a night. Yeah. I, did, I, did, I did six and seven as well. They were good. Good, good games. make great wine, not so much beer. No, I'm the same, Jim. I totally agree with you there, mate. Totally agree with you. Can you make good wine? <clears throat> Evening, Mark. How are you, mate? How are you? Hope you're well. Hello. Um, uh, Budweiser makes me physically throw up. Uh, it's not the best. I've never been sick of a Budweiser, I don't think. Mm, yeah, no, it's, so, it's just so it's just so bland, isn't it? Yeah. What, what, I, what I don't understand is that they made something so bland and then bought out a light version. Like, what was that going to achieve? Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> they bought out seltzers now, haven't they? Bud Light seltzers. Um, oh, that's just, it's just Elko Pops in a different guy, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly that. Um, Chris has loved Band One. Great body, fantastic taste. Yeah, it's still- Sounds, sounds, sounds like a good woman. A good woman. Uh, Jim says, in my opinion, some beers are uh, so mass-produced, I suspect they utilise the cheapest ingredients Thus, tend to be hammers the next morning. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what it comes down to, isn't it, Jim? Cheap ingredients eventually will kick your ass. You know, make you feel yeah, it's, weird. It's, it's weird, isn't it? You just think about it, you say it out loud. Why, why would cheap wheat be worse than expensive wheat? Right, I just... Maybe it's, maybe it's fertilizers used on the grains, even. Yeah, it's, it's not just a coincidence, is it? The cheaper the beer, the worse your hangover. And yeah. I, I think it says it all you get what you pay for. You pay a little bit more, you get a better tasting beer, and you don't feel like crap the next day. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to find the I, I, I'll see if I can find I don't know if it's only for um, do it, Gold Drake, do it. We put an order in with Lords. Get some proper beer, son. I don't know if this is for just trade, but there's a. We buy a lot of hops from Charles Farham Hop Factors, um, and they have like a big list of all the hops and the names and what they do, and it tells you about the flavors and what you know what they do. But I cannot find the actual. Uh, the page. I don't know if it's a public page that you can see or not. I don't know. But like Columbus Hops. Let's have a look. Columbus Hops. Is that my... Columbus. Columbus is common in a lot of American tales, isn't it? Ah, here we go. Pungent, resiny, earthy, and spicy. Earthy is definitely a word I would use to describe this. Yeah. Sometimes it's... having aroma of black pepper, licorice. It's peppery, not so much licorice. Can change the qualities of marijuana if heavily, uh, if used heavily in the flavour uh, at the end of the brew. Yeah, I had that um, that Northern Monk CBD beer a few weeks ago, and that was just like, yeah, just just, just like straight resin. It was just that's all it tasted of. And interestingly, before we came on here, I. I uh, a friend of mine left a few cans of um, shipyard pale ale. Never, never tried it. Never had it before. I've seen it for years, just never had it. Um, and I reviewed that before coming on here. And weirdly, that has a similar thing going on. A serious, like re- serious, seriously resinous, like throughout, which is quite odd for a beer of that. It was quite cheap, to be fair. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. It's um, shipyards uh, Marston's. Uh, yeah. So apparently, um, it's also known as Tomahawk. 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 Yeah, I'm, I, do, I do wonder whether it actually exists in the US, should be asked, whether it's just the marketing ploy for over here. It is, it's pure marketing. Yeah, I thought so. It's, it's not real at all. It was, I thought, I actually quite enjoyed it for a fairly cheap pale. Um, it's all right. It's all right, it was fine. It was like, I think that was my, my summary of what it was. It's all right, yeah. I, I just, I think my problem, my problem is with it. It's just an outrageous, blatant cash in on craft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rather okay. than trying to, it's just a con. Does that make yeah. sense? I think it's like it's like a marketing con, and that that's where I don't know. I think Brewdog nails it with their marketing. They have a lot of fun with it, and they do loads of cool stuff. And you know, Tiny Rebel. Uh, club Club Tropicana, and the fact that they got sued by Tropicana is like great PR. 
you yeah, know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Um, but like to actively mislead the customer base into believing that this they're buying craft when they're not. Not buying and, and, and buying craft imported beer as well. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's not. It says, it says yeah. hold on, I'll grab the can here. Let's have a look what it says. It says, Did you not enjoy it, Mark? Or maybe you're telling me about that. The Mangalorean. There you go. Tell, tell me where you think that beer is from. Portland, Maine. Portland, yeah. yeah. Uh, brewed in. Brewed in Canada in the UK by Marston's. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. So not good, is it? Not good. It's a bit cheeky. A bit cheeky. Yeah. A bit. So Mark tried the new Brew York Milkshake IPA called the Mangalorean. Mango lime. Not, not his cup of tea. It's 6.4% ABV. Was it? Great name. I, never, I don't think milkshake IPAs work. No, I'm not a fan either. Um, David Bush, John would love to see you make a traditional ESB. Well, we've done, we've done a, a we used to do a very, very traditional bitter. Um, but it, if I'm honest, it was just a bit boring. Um, and we used to sell a lot of it, but I just couldn't. We the bitter kind of fell out of love. Um, a long while back and we just we axed it and I was like I, I haven't missed it but maybe to bring back a proper ESB but I I don't know I, I love Fuller's ESB I don't, I, I don't know I, how do you do I don't know I do, I mean, Marble Marble did a really good one their, their ESB was superb the Marble one we've um, got a great New World bitter it's got all uh, New Zealand hops in it the kiwi hops are everywhere, aren't they? At the moment, one second, each one for a pick. Yeah, you won't regret it 100%. Speaking of yeast, John, maybe you could try a farmhouse ale. We just did one called Log Jam. That was, uh, I think Paul's text was, How much shoe polish did you put in that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I had so much beer over Christmas. And that was one of them. And I was just like, Christ, oh, my thing. <laughs> An animal, that thing. It, it, it totally refreshed my palate, though. You got me started for the rest of Christmas drinking that. That's uh, all I will say. We've got one barrel that's coming up next month to be in a year. Ooh. It's a year since we did that. Chris, Chris's ears just pricked up. The beer dog's ears just pricked up there. He's, uh, I want it. Uh, get a mixed pack gold, Drake. Definitely, mate. Do it. Do it. Uh, Davis says, I tried the European Ho Garden. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's another thing. Depends where you get it from, I suppose. Imagine drinking Ho Garden at the Ho Garden Brewery. Oh, yeah. It'd be completely different. Look how much it would taste, yeah. Uh, Mike B says, everything is good if it's imperial, except measurements. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take that one. Uh, in a proper pub. Uh, exactly that, Gold Drake. Exactly that. Like he said, dog. This is the 12 minute behind mark on comment. <laughs> Let me catch up. Dog gives the worst hangovers. So hot right now. Maybe have a nice cold beer. Go on, son. Did the hydrate before partaking in the ale, in my opinion, which usually keeps me from having a big hangover. Yeah, drink lots of water and everything before you start having a few beers. 100%. So good when you feel tipsy, it makes you feel great. Oi, oi, yeah, then Steve. How are you, buddy? Hello, Steve. Jim's on the Crony 64. You see me bang your headache. Then I discovered craft beer. Yep, fair play. Cronenberg oh. used to turn my pee blue if I drank enough of it. Oh, crazy stuff. One day I'll try the 10 Duval challenge. Watch how I not make the class three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. I don't know why you why you put yourself through it. It's just silly. Uh, Brandon, what do you think of Guinness? Uh, solid. Solid stout. Solid yeah, stout. I've got a bad word to say about it. If you can get the um, the, the foreign the foreign ex import or the extra stout, even better. But I, I really enjoy Guinness, you know. Uh, Orville, made by Monk from Belgium. Uh, how are you guys so good at cutting yourself off? If I have two beers, I end up having 12. 
passing out. <laughs> Bill's unavoidable. You guys have uh, willpower for sure. <laughs> it, it's knowing full well that I, I can't work very well the next morning if I get wankered. Yeah. So, Knowing how much I've got to do stops it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. It's like if I don't if I don't stop drinking, I can't go to work tomorrow, which means I can't make money, which means I can't make more buy more beer. Do you know what I mean? So it's you got to cut the cut the line at some point. You know. I'm loving my little heater I bought the other day. Ah. Little, little tiny thing. You are very proud of that, aren't you? I'm loving it. It was seventeen quid. <laughs> It's toasty in here, and the little thermostat's working lovely. Toasty. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still up for wearing jumpers, man. I think I, I love wearing a jumper. I love wearing a hoodie. And until it gets too warm to wear them, I'll just yeah. keep wearing them. I'll, I'll, the heat, turning the heat on is like a last resort for me. I don't know why. I just, I like wearing a jumper. Yeah. yeah. No, our heating stays off as long as possible before I end up cooking the dogs. <laughs> well, see, it's the end of May. There's no way my heat is going on again until like October. Like, no way. Right. Uh, CJR, I find certain hops give me worse hangovers. Well, unless you are having 10 pints of 5% lager in an evening without eating much, that's expected, especially if you haven't eaten enough decent food. Yeah, 100%. If you're going out for a last shot, you've got to prepare. You've got to eat something. You've got to get a meal in you. You've got to do something, you know. Yeah. Uh, Ronald, United been Rail, United have equalised. You disappeared there, John. That was, that was... I know, I was messing around. I was like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. No, see, I think that would be sick, Jim. I think I think that's... I was just saying, sorry, Paul, whilst you were uh, draining the weasel, uh, that there's a hop called Green Bullet. And I thought, oh, the only Green Bullet I know is a 68 fastback charger. From the film Bullet with Steve McQueen in. I was like, now oh, there's a beer. And right. then we've got Brew Doge coming out soon. Brew Doge. <laughs> did you say did you say charger in Bullet then? Uh sorry, not Charger. Mustang. <laughs> and then you've got the black you've got the black charger, haven't you? That chases it, which is a sixty eight as well, because it's got the round lights at the back. Yeah. And they, they they make that now, don't they? If you buy a new Mustang, they do the bullet version, don't they? Yeah, I was looking at one on eBay the other day. It's just still out of reach. Every time I get to the point where I think, she's the Ford one, it just goes up in value. And I'm like, yeah. it, it's, it's nice, but I still prefer the, the GT to the bullet version. I, I, oh, I, no, I want the bullet version. I, I like the styling on the GT. I think it's just edges of bullet for me. The GT is better, but. I love the film, so I feel like if I'd, I'd drive around playing the soundtrack, and I'd feel like... <laughs> so, I've gone in, uh, gone in 60 seconds. Ele Eleanor, we've gone in 60 seconds. That, that, for me, is the most beautiful car I've ever made. The only thing that put me off is the fact that the lady who owns the rights to the, the car, star Eleanor, so her husband was the director of the original gone in 60 seconds, sues everybody that ever calls their car that it's an Eleanor. So, and she wins every time and she's got loads of cars she's taken off people. She managed to sue Ford and Shelby and took their cars off them too. Wow. And recently a YouTuber built an Eleanor replica and she got that as well. Oh my goodness. She's just... Yeah. Psychopath. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Oh you, you just have to change it and call it Elaine or... Well, I don't own the car, so just kiss my derriere. Yeah. <laughs> Joel says, we love Adnan's ghost ship on uh, Krups. Yeah, I, it just, it's all Heineken stuff, isn't it? If, unless Heineken have got a say in it, it, it just won't happen. Mm. It's annoying. Their range is so vague. It's so small. Yeah. It's, it's um, the same, same on all of these machines. Yeah. Um, a bit disappointing. They need to branch out a little bit, these companies. Apart because... from the Linda Pygmy, I just like to put that. Yes, except for that one. <laughs> yeah, except for that one. Yes, true. true. Which is a fortune, but it is blooming good. But yeah, they all need to do it. Heineken with the with the blade. Um, 
or Heineken with the blade, Heineken with the sub, the PD. Um, they've all got to branch out. They've got to start talking to other uh, companies because you can't just keep knocking yeah. out these same beers all the time. Could you imagine if some of these big breweries just said, hey, little brewery like Lord's Brewing Company or Mallinson's <laughs> or whoever, you know, like Neon Raptor, um, we want you uh, to do an exclusive recipe for our perfect draft. And they did it, and they did three. Let's say they did three smaller breweries. They'd flip in sell like crazy. Yeah. They'd go mad. And I don't know why they won't do it, because they, they could easily do it. They could even brew the beer themselves under license and use the branding and do the whole thing as an exercise. And they'd make a load of money. I don't know why they don't. I just It baffles me why they don't do it. Yeah, they really, they really should. They need to ex- expand a little bit. Just sticking with the same people, it's so annoying. You know, uh, excuse me, you used to be able to get Brewdog Punk IPA on, on the sub. You can't get it anymore. Stop doing that. Oh, right. That's annoying. Add them to Ghost Ship on the crops. Yeah, man, it'd be, it'd be wicked. I love Ghost Ships. It's a cracking beer. Ghost Ships a good beer, yeah. Joel, always love a good barley wine. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough barley wines. I always enjoy them when I have them. I saw you. I saw you picked up another bigfoot. Yeah, I too, mate. It was it's just it's just too nice. It's just too good. No. I drank it. and I was just like, oh, you know. Mine, mine, mine sat maturing away in the cupboard downstairs. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing that with this one. I'm not going to keep it for a little while. I might I might crack it open at Christmas or something. Depends how, yeah. uh, how bad I feel. But it's such a good beer. And yeah, Jim Jim's just nailed it there. Barley wines are lovely, especially bigfoot. Yeah, yeah it's. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beautiful beer, beautiful beer. Yeah, you don't get many over here, really, do you? No, you don't. You don't seem to see any. The last one I'd, I'd, I'd had from over here was a Green King one, and even that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was um, part of their Chevalier series, and um, right. it, it was actually quite tasty. It was actually quite tasty, to be fair to them. Is, is it? Is that the uh, French rugby player? Chevalier. <laughs> Could have been. Could have been. He was a beast, that dude. He was. The geezer with the beard and the long hair. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, like something from Braveheart, didn't he? he was, uh, I prefer to drink it out of a chalice. Yeah, if you're going to have a beer like a Bigfoot, a nice big barley wine, it deserves a bit of luxury glassware, doesn't it? He's uh, done 21 gigs. How many have you done, Carl Drake? Your spelling's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I found a shipyard in the Weatherspoons Beer Fest years ago. I thought the guy next to me in the bar had a bag of weed in his pocket. He just ordered a pint of shipyard. <laughs> so it's, that's it, comfortable. It is, it is. It is properly like that. But what's weird about it is, is that it's kind of um, it gets there very quickly, and then it just t- smooths off into something a bit quite, quite sweet and normal. It's quite, I, I quite like it. I, I, I quite liked it. It's not the best thing in the world, but it was all right. I, I remember the first time I had shipyard pale ale. I had it in a pub, and I thought it, I was being really clever, being crafty. The conversation we had earlier, and I had it on draft, and it was like lagers, 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 and then shipyard pale ale. I was like, "Oh, I want that! Look how alternative it looks!" You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was shit. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad, but inevitable. That big beer would buy up small craft breweries, put out bogus craft beers. Unfortunately, for newbies like me. Uh, I get given Nuki Brown before by my mate, and my family was thinking I was sitting in my room rolling up some J's. I don't know, Nuki Brown just doesn't really taste of anything anymore. It's, um, yeah, it can be, I don't know, maybe it's a bit skunky when you open it sometimes. But, but it's got a clear, I mean, to be honest, I don't know about the beer because I've never had it, but it's got a clear bottle, so it's bound to get skunked. Yeah, I, I bought a sub of it, I bought a sub of the craft sub thing. It's the worst I've ever had, really. The sub of Nuki Brown is worse than the bottles of Nuki. I reckon. Brown. I reckon it's the most. I reckon it's one of the most variable mainstream beers. Mm. It can be. It can be pretty enjoyable one day, and then just the sour mess the next. It just. I don't know. It's just a bit volatile. I've not had it from a can in years. I wonder what it'd be like out of a can now. Yeah. Where I think we should go for a little beer adventure is Japan. Japan. You, say, you say a little adventure. That's quite a big adventure. I was, I was, I was thinking it was going to be a pub down the road or something. You know. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine Paul, 
Paul's Beer Reviews, Crummy Beard, and Lord's Brewing Co. Go to the train. It's going to be a very long live stream from a train station where we can't make out any of the letters. <laughs> uh, so we were going to find this brewery. But we, anybody know what that means? <laughs> We're, we're massive in Japan. You know that. We're massive. We're massive. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, Toshi used to come on, didn't he? Toshi? Toshi, yeah. He used to come on our live streams. He was Japanese. Oh, yeah. No, I do yeah. remember. Where's Toshi gone? We haven't seen Toshi in ages. Where's Toshi? He's busy. He's drifting, isn't he? He's somewhere in a multi-story car park. He's drifting around it. Out. <laughs> Big Diesel ain't got shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, Jim, that's what's happening here now. Logjam, Logjam smash for the win. Tasty Victory V. Uh, bring to beer London to get people talking. Oh. Logjam, smash, yeah, man. Can you imagine if I put a couple of kegs of uh, log jam and just put like X on the pump clip? That's Do it. You'll get, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a load of uh, right. bad hair, bearded, check shirt, brace wearing douchebags will drink it, think they're being really clever. It's bad, bad it They'll be like that. They'll be like. <laughs> 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 it's a very complex beer, though, for something that's got nothing in it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Shark says, Paul, 10 optimum challenge. It's like 70 quid's worth of beer. That's the first thing, I think. <laughs> Have you had one yet, Kevin? Have you cracked one open yet? I've ordered two, and I'm waiting for you, man. When, when can we actually drink it together? You know? If you're available this Saturday, we'll crack one open, because I've, I've got one in the fridge, and I've got one on the shelf. I'm looking forward to it, seeing what the 2021 edition is like. We what don't know the top them. It's the triple, it's Sierra Nevada's triple IPA. It's 11, uh, 11%. And it's incredible. So I'm um, really looking forward to see what this year's one's like. Question for you. Um, Jim, is, didn't Jim send out a care package? He did. He arrived today. I thought he was going to our brewery. Yeah, yeah, I gave I gave him the brewery info. Where did it end up? I haven't seen it. No, mine mine arrived this morning. A Jim a Jim didn't yeah, I don't know. A Jim been talking. Well update. maybe Jim didn't send it to me. Maybe I thought he was sending your your care package to me. Oh, I don't know. Not yours, crummy beards. I thought yours Oh yeah, I, yeah we we had a we said to send, well, I thought we said to, send, to tell him to send them all to the same place so he didn't have to ship multiple lots. And we sent it to the brewery because inevitably we'd all end up there at some point. So has Paul got all of it? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a question for Jim and I have to reply in the comments because yeah. no one knows. <laughs> we'll never see it again, Jim. If Paul's got all of it, it's gone. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't know, our friend Jim here was ridiculously kind and he sent me a box of beers, eight, eight beers. Uh, from two different breweries in the States, ones that he really likes. And I'm so excited to get stuck into them because they look incredible. Um, so thank you, Jim. I know I thanked you earlier on Instagram, but um, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm well happy. Unfortunately, though, Paul. I'm not giving them to you. The, the, you haven't got 12. You've got three. Oh, so you've got four. The four. rest are ours. The rest are yours. I've got sharing with you lot. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Uh, I have to save them for uh, Bro London, and I? I've got to save them. No, you don't have to save them. It's fine. I'm only, I'm, I'm just messing with you. No, I'm glad you said that because they won't last. They won't last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Shark, I know the last 10 years, beer conglomerates have been snatching up small breweries. AB and Bear paid Wicked Weed $50 million. Hard to pass up on that kind of cash. That's the issue, isn't it? That's the problem. Ooh. That down that money. How can you? I'd be like, uh, yeah. Stevie, hello, son. Gorgeous first. Look at that badge. Hey, hey. Look at that. That's a massive cockerel. There's a massive cock standing on a ball. Beautiful. Why? Yeah. I, know, I never understand why he's standing on a basketball, though. Shut it. <laughs> it's an old school football, man. Look at it. Oh, it is, yeah. oh, cool. 
uh, Shark says, Jim, we had several good breweries that got bought out. Now the beers are barely decent. Shame, isn't it, man? It's not good. Even our spears. Headspace, unique. Fort Capri, for me, had an orange one with a black roof. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. I love the Capri. I don't care what anybody says. I like the Capri. Flipping love the way a Capri looks. Uh, CGR says, I find the West Indies Porter the most... Oh, that's a cracking beer from Guinness, isn't it? But the foreign extra shower is a totally different beast. I forgot all about the West Indies port, but that is a lovely beer. Great shower. Yeah, I, I love the bottle as well. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I always find it's it way too carbonated for a stout. Yeah, I'm just like, what? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. Just never got on with it. I love it. Yeah, I just love it. I love it. We talk about oh. beer. Someone loves it. Oh. Someone doesn't like it. Oh, okay. I, just, I don't know. It, it, it's just way too carbonated. And it's like, it, it feels like it's longer consistency with the stout flavour and it just doesn't work for me. People were talking about Adnams earlier. I'm going to crack open another one. This is a collaboration brew. Adnams and Thornbridge have collaborated to make a India Porter called Nevermore. Okay. Nevermore. Interesting. 5% India Porter collab brew. Available in Morrison's. Interesting. It's an exclusive, apparently, this one from Mozzers. The third place for them. I don't even know what an India port is. I think people are just playing with words now. Yeah. It's an African porter, but made in for India. Looks well, like I had some bridge Imperial porter earlier in the week, and that was incredible. So I hope it's. Uh... That's just red. It's like a dark red. Looks really dark on the camera, but. Yeah, yeah. A dark red porter. That's really multi. Naughty, multi. Jim says his patrol, his favourite patrol car was the Charger. Oh, yeah. I can get that. Can no par or no car, baby. I've disappeared again. <laughs> <laughs> Alpine was bought out by Green Flash. Now they're going to reopen their own. <laughs> it appears to be 10 times better than what Green Flash could use. <laughs> I, I still made me laugh every time, sorry. He says my internet is lagging. I'm well behind. Yeah, I'm having internet issues again. Goldrex has six, seven, or maybe eight beers. He doesn't know. Good oh. lad. Good lad. Milky Brown smells a lot like bird. Does it? You know what? You know what else does completely left field, right? You know those plastic bottles of Ribena. Yeah. Open one of those up. This similar. Really? What's yeah. Can't explain it. <laughs> I had something really unusual today. I had a Tetley's green tea, red berries infused, boost B six vitamin. It's a long title. We'll get there. Yeah, tea. Yeah. I had uh, tea bags, so I took to work, and I've not had them before. Poured it, and it smells just like, and tastes like rice paper. You know the sheets of fruit flavored rice yeah. paper you get. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. It's flipping. I love it. I'm like, this is amazing. Love it. Love uh, it. That's awesome. Uh, Yes, I know, brother. I say all Alpine's beers were top, to not, top notch. Green Flash made my favourite beer of all, sadly. Road Warrior, double IPA. It's a great name for a beer. Still got two in the refrigerator. Should be able to do this Saturday. But there we go. American beers this Saturday because I've got a ton of them, thanks to Jim. Uh, sure. you, can, um, you can save yourself some typing. Um, the word is fridge. Fridge. <laughs> fridge. There's a few characters less. Yeah. The re and the rater you can leave behind. It's fine. Uh, always the rest of Japan is very confusing. Literally like being on a different planet. I was there for four days for the Rugby World Cup semi-final. I think it would be New Zealand. Amazing trip. That sounds awesome. I've never fancied Japan. Never fancied it. Just like uh, everything. I'd like, like, I'd like to have seen that match. Yeah. I'd, I'd have gone for the I'd have gone for the rugger, but 
I've, I've never fancied Japan. It just looks like a, a city, too many people, too many flashing lights and gadgets and people that talk in a way that I can't understand. Nah, I, I see a beer-infused adventure into <laughs> madness. Watch um, James May's Our Man in Japan on Amazon. I'll have to. Brilliant. I'll have to. Because you know, Japan for me is like Blade Runner. Really? <laughs> like, like the original Blade Runner for me. Right. Yeah. That's, that's Tokyo. Tokyo and Blade Runner are the same thing. Okay. <laughs> that's my. I don't know whether they agree, but yeah, okay. When I see Tokyo, I see Blade Runner. That that's what I see. Okay. I can too see many, the too many people, too many lights and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> nah, not not for me. Not for me. I like open spaces. I like trees and stuff. You They've know? got all that. They've got Mount Fuji. Yeah, yeah. Japan has yeah. It depends where we go, whereabouts in Japan we're going. We're going. Right. we're going to go all of it. We'll start at one end and go all the way to the top. All right. <laughs> this, this very small beer adventure has turned into a six-month tour. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll be loaded. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll sell the brewery and we'll sell go through. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any beer. Uh, I was sitting in the room before having a nuclear bear. My brother told me my mum was rolling jays in my room. Oh, dear. I never smelled a nuclear bear that, that strong, to be honest. The worst uh, one for me is Bex Blue. That is always skunked. There we are. Jim says, I will be sending crummy beers. However, $108, I will do it. I promise. Right. Jimmy, yeah, yeah, Jim, I wasn't, I wasn't going to say how much it cost, but you've done it anyway. So, uh, yeah. I mean, that's like that's like 76 quid. Just to say. Wow. That's so nice of you, Paul, to share the wealth. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> well, look, man, I will, I will save some. I will save them for through London, mate. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I would rather. No, no, it's fine. Buddy. You, bro. I'm just, I'm just pulling your chain. It's all good. Uh, well, cool, cool, cool. Don't. <laughs> 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 but that's to say, it's just like when it turned up, I was like, Jesus! It's like how much it cost, you know? I warned you, Jim. I warned you. But I'm very grateful. It's, it's incredible. It really is incredible. Um, we're going to be drinking a few of them on Saturday, Jim. So hopefully you've got a few beers ready for that. Uh, my granddad's first car was a Ford Capri. There you go. I bet he drove sideways everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon R says, where are y'all from anyway? I'm from... Uddersfield, West Yorkshire, <laughs> where you'll say uh, the sh uh, or Wex West Yorkshire, West Yorkshire, <laughs> West Yorkshire. The West John's up in West Yorkshire. Uh, Tom, you're in Nottingham, aren't you? Nottingham, yeah. You got you got to cut it short and say Nottingham. You've got to Nottingham. Miss the middle bit out. Not Nottingham. Not it's the not. Yeah. Where, where, where the where the man in the tights comes from? I see. If you've heard of Robin Hood, you've heard of Nottingham. And me, I'm from uh, I'm from North London, North London, mate. A gladder, 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 Oh, I'll drink bright cars. The granddad always had Fords. Just for John, the longest word. Is that a real word? I think that... Pneumo, mono, ultra, microscopic, silly, coal, volcano, carnos, cons... Gnosis? Yes. I think it might be legit. Is it like anti disestablishmentarianism? It's a bit like, like, super but longer and more difficult to pronounce. New, new mono ultra microscopic silco volcano gnosis. Oh, it's, it's, it's silico volcanosis at the end. Volcanosis. That's it. All right. Let's try again. 
This is a lot. It's harder for a few beers. Volcano, sorry, volcanocosis. Volcanocosis. What have you started, Kev? That is a hell of a word. New, new mono ultra microscopic silica volcano. Oh, I can't flipping do it. <laughs> You do it, Tom. You're the posh one. Come on. <laughs> Tom, yes, I bet one, Tom one, got one, right. one, Yeah, one lucky a science degree there. Uh, Come on, Tom. Hold on. So you 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 managed to get the first bit down. Say the first bit again, and I can copy it. New mono ultra microscopic silly volcan cano con so cano this is. <laughs> Just the first bit. I keep getting confused. I keep getting sorry. Before to microscopic, pneumo, pneumo, new mono ultra microscopics. Right. New mono, uh, yeah, new mono ultra microscopics. New mono ultra microscopic silly volcanocosis. I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Your best effort. It's just too long. Whatever it is, it's too bloody long. It's way too long. Send us your long words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who could beat that one? That's insane. Uh, Blade Runner vibes. Yeah, that, that that's what I see when I see Tokyo. Obviously, Blade Runner. Uh, my brother lives in Brisbane, so we met up there for the game. Great weekend, still recovering. That does sound awesome, man. They're tough as old boots in Brisbane. Blade Runner, Blade. I, I haven't seen 2049. I've not seen the new one. Who need to watch it? I've seen it for years. Been the original, but I've, I've not seen the new one. He had um, uh, what's his face? Ryan Gosling was in the new one, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. My life's got to uh, Pikachu Detective. I've seen that. I thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even Poke I don't even know Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon. I know Pikachu. I've got I three kids. It's like I thought it was funny. It made me laugh. I love the fact that. Um, uh, uh, what's his face? Did the voice? The Ryan big... Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. He's a funny guy, man. I thought it was really good that he did the voice for him. I love Deadpool. Deadpool's the nuts. Oh, Deadpool's yeah. so funny. Somebody asked Kobe, what film would you like to watch? He's like, I'd like to watch that, that man in red and black, Deadpool, because Daddy says he swears like mad. <laughs> I was like... I watched two wicked films over the weekend, man. I watched Rambo Last Blood. Which was so good, so good. Okay, it was brilliant. It was just an hour and a half of carnage, absolutely brilliant. And then I watched uh, Army of the Dead on Netflix on Saturday night, the new Zack Snyder film. It was right. fantastic. Is it and good? It was so good. I loved it. it I've, got it. I've got it on my watch list. Oh, uh, brilliant! It was brilliant. It was I don't like scary films. It wasn't scary. It was a zombie film, but it was more action than horror. All right. They had to go in. There was like they had to go in and break into a vault that was underground in Vegas, and they were like, "Okay." But it just so happened that Vegas had been overrun by zombies. Um, so yeah, so they had to like you know tackle thousands and thousands of zombies, and they're not like your slow, stupid zombies. They were fast. They were angry. It was very, very good. It was really good fun. Good film. Recommend it. Two tomatoes crossing the road. One was behind. Catch up. <laughs> Black. Uh, CGI are going to crack open a Buxton Lupula Citra from my last beer of the night I think I'll be having a day off the beer tomorrow I can already feel the hangover creeping in good lad yeah I'm like that I'm, I'm uh, sipping this one I would probably rate Lord's Brewing about a six got some decent stuff won't blow you away but it's drinkable stuff that's fair that's fair yeah I'll take that I'll that's take that it. Brew, we, we're not brewing though. Brewery, no, definitely not brewery. <laughs> definitely not brewery. Yeah, it's true. There's no we. Well, we our roots in uh, traditional beer, so yeah. that that's where we started. So uh, you're like a middle ground, aren't you? Between yeah, we're kind of middle, middle ground at the moment. We're break. We're, we're we're breaking out. We're, we're working on something. I can't tell you. I can't. I can't tell you too much. What um what what beers did you try, Brandon? Which ones were you? The ones you thought were good, which ones not so good? These are extra time. Is it extra time in the final? Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint. Money spent on friends is money well spent. No regrets. See, that's beautiful, Jim. That's beautiful. 
do appreciate it, mate. I, I did. I, he, he was trying to send out beers for ages, and I was like, dude, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. But um, he insisted. No, so, I, don't think, I don't think anyone was disappointed. What oh, a oh, legend. Oh, no. ah, the smile on my face when it turned up this morning. I was just, yes, yes. Go <laughs> beer. No, you made me very happy, mate. I do appreciate it, Jim. It's incredibly generous. What a legend. And do you know that? I, I want to send beer out to America. It's so it's so hard. It's yeah. not the cost. It's the the chance of it actually getting there is almost impossible. Not good, is it? No. Uh, he's on his 11th beer now, God, Drake. Go on, son. Do I go for a duval? What, for the 11th? <laughs> that'll tip you over the edge. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll seal you for the night, for sure. And most of tomorrow, I know. 100%. East London, innit? Nah, mate. Nah, mate. Yes, go, Drake. North London, bro. Uh, excuse me. I think Brandon R is our little man, uh, is uh, our little man that came in earlier. Do you reckon? Just yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's just being a bit nicer now. Maybe be. we're giving we're giving you the chance, Brandon. We're giving you the chance to whatever your real name is. We're giving you. I the don't know chance. why you suddenly got all this hate, but it's very strange. Yeah, look, mate. If you if you, if you're here for you know, if you if you're here for a few beers and a laugh, then you're welcome. You know, but if you got an issue, just say it. I don't care. Just, yeah, t- tell us what the beef is, and and then we'll we'll put it to bed. But if you're just gonna be odd, <laughs> probably better you just go because it's just weird. You know, um, yeah, I'm going to be reviewing a few of their beers because they, they, some of them look absolutely fantastic. I'm not, I'm not seeing your beers, I'm going to have a look now. Not All of them look fantastic. There's a Pilsner that's got some of the best artwork. The beard, he's got a beard of fire. And I thought, that's fitting. That's fitting. So did myself, Tom, and John. All have ginger beard. I do not have a ginger. It's not ginger. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Man in tights, Ru- Rudolf. N- n- uh, you're a lasher. You're a lasher. You're a lasher. Nurinev. Nur- 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 oh, you're a lasher, Tom. That was an eclectic number of can out there. My pleasure to share them. Can't wait. It's the longest word in the world from Steve Shaw. <laughs> 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 <That's so laughs> Love it. Love it. Ask the shit. And always, always, uh, oh, you went wrong there, Steve. Always will be uh, Lewis Spurs in the league. Always will, always be, be low, low Spurs in the league. Yeah. Five years on the chop, son. Arsenal can't touch us. Shut your face. Uh, still uh, not to see 2049 too, Paul. I saw the original, though. I really liked it. The original was superb. It was a very, very good film, Blade Runner. Very good film. Uh, what's your guys' favourite sport to watch? Uh, me, football and ice hockey are my two favourite sports to watch. Uh, football and rugby union, but I'll be honest, I mainly watch internationals. I don't have, well, not, not against local teams, not televised very often, so I kind of not, don't, don't, watch, don't watch league, uh, cup stuff that often. But yeah, Form, Formula One mainly. I like trophy trucks and. I think my second thing that I like to watch is probably basketball of late, mainly because the boys have got NBA on the uh, Xbox, and then me and Mikey, I've been showing him all like the the nineties basketball teams, and yeah, I've got. I realise I quite I really like basketball, and I saw a live match at Sheffield, and I flipping loved every minute of it. Was that the Sheffield Steelers? Were they? Were they? Was it them? The Steelers? Was that? Yeah, the I was so like, oh, was like hockey. hockey. Well, they are hockey, the Steelers. Steelers, right? Yeah, because Nottingham Panthers and Sheffield Steelers have got a big, big rivalry in ice hockey. Oh, all right. There you go. So, there's, I don't know what the basketball team was called, but it was the whole. It's so fast. The game, bad for, bad for. Loved it. Loved it. It just didn't go on long enough. Uh, is it time for a few bad jokes yet, Paul? Yeah, man. Bring them in. Drop them in. Drop them. I in. think he wants the jokes off you, though. I want jokes off for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I went to a karaoke bar the other night. All the lads went, Paul, Paul, sing, don't go breaking my heart. I said, I couldn't if I tried. Couldn't if oh. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in there. Straight in there. 
Uh, good one, good one. Gone to extra time, United not made a single sub. Oh, that could suit them. What do you call the bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Hey! <laughs> Love it. What do you call the cow with two legs? Lean meat. <laughs> that? Uh, could you brewing a lager, please? A larger, please. It would be dodgy spelling of lager. Yes, I could brewing a larger, please. Could you brewing a larger? Any I need some more brewing? tanks. I need some more tanks. Love it. Rich is in. Hello, Sam. All your lads. How are you, my mate? Uh, was it? My mate gave me a beer tonight called Bruce IPA. Has whirlpool and cotter hops. Mm, a rare one. Cotter hops. I don't know what that is. Uh, I have too many beers to choose from here to send you. Exactly. Where'd you start, Kev? Uh, my friends thinks uh, Lords is oh dear, it's a bit outrageous, isn't it? Your friend that doesn't know what they're talking about. Uh, have you guys had a Woods Brewery beer? Why have you think of Woods? I don't, I don't think I have either. I'm thinking of the one that's what's the one in Little? That's something Woods, isn't yeah, it? That's 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 uh, Hatherwood, and that's brewed by Witchwood. So oh, right. it's brewed by Marston's. Yeah. No, Joe, I've not. Uh, what is it? Brandon, get better, mate. You did get better, mate. You did. I, I, I can't stand on it. Paul has a pure. Barney Gumbleberg. That's right from The Simpsons, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hi, Richie. How you doing, man? I love that guy. Yeah! 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 There you go. <laughs> <laughs> love, it. love that character. It's brilliant. Uh, love you guys, man. Got no issues. That's, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, all it is, Brandon. We had some turd in earlier, and uh, he caused trouble in a, a previous live stream, and I was unaware. I didn't know. Um, some, yeah. but no. Yeah. See, this is the thing. No one says why, or there's no yeah. nothing. There's nothing to back it up. Somebody got hurt because I took the name out of their. I, I I took the Mick out of their surname, despite the fact. That they called me stuff previous to that, but um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's all love. It's all love, Brandon. Yeah, it's, no, it's, I don't it's, know. Having a good time, but unfortunately, you get a bit of you get some dickheads in here. It's a shame. Yeah, sorry, mate. Uh, if you want to be a weirdo, yeah, it's, it's simple as that. We're not we're not accusing you of nothing, but we do get a lot of strange people every now and then. Like they'll, yeah. they'll come and just talk nonsense, it's weird. Uh, Rich, John Beard ain't ginger. It's strawberry blonde with a hint of orange. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your new thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> new thing. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. That's uh, so yeah. you. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm drinking tonight because I'm in shock, says Steve. I came home and caught my housemate housemate in tights. What does one do? Now I know why he's single. Oh, mate. Why is your housemate wearing tights? Maybe oh, right. I thought there was a joke going somewhere, but I think it's serious. It's serious. Is, is your housemate Robin Hood? That's the only explanation. <laughs> <laughs> or is he Superman? Was he wearing the pants on the outside? Yeah, well, was it? Yeah, that's the... That's the... the, that's the, the only... That's what we need to know now. He, wow. could, he could be a superhero. Could be. That's pretty cool if he is. Well, if he's not bothering you, then he's not making you wear tights. It's true. So yeah, everyone, it. everyone to themselves, man. I don't know. It's all the rage these days, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we want Mini Paul. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Uh, I'm trying to tell you I like your beard. You it, oh, dude, we didn't call you a troll. No, 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 no. We thought yeah. you were someone earlier. It was, it was the fact that you said six out of ten. And uh, I think you were <laughs> referring to my five out of ten uh, hoe garden thing that then started into some uh, uh, trolling. Uh, no, no one's calling you a troll, dude. No, 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 no. It's all good. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, savage. He didn't give uh, a damn. That's what I was saying. I punch you in the face. Uh, yeah, I'll say my piece. Just be chill. No, yes, yeah, it, man. It's all love here. It's all love. Did you see, Robbie Knox started his own brewery called Big Day Brewing. No, that's well cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you put that video out today. I've not watched it yet, but yeah. So Robbie Knox used to be on Soccer AM, didn't he? Yeah. That's all I know. Jordy K. Hey there, lads. Cheers to you. How are you, Jordy? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're well. Are you drinking? Are you drinking? Uh, my sister is opening up five new hairdressers, hairdressing salons this year. She's not sure of the problem, so... <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Love it. Sharks own breweries just put the amount of breweries he's got on his street. That's the number right there. Or is it his cell phone number? Could be his cell phone number. Or is that the amount of birds that you've copped off with? That'd be a, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a cracking number. It looks like his credit card number to me. I'm just going to... <laughs> <laughs> Type it in, lads. Type it in. <clears throat> right. Rich says, uh, it was time we stop at your locker for Mingo. So I had to put my foot down. Hey, hey, hey. And I meant Citra Hops. I love Citra Hops. Love Citra. Tom hates them with a passion, don't you, Tom? Yeah. Oh, dear. I do like it. I've, I've got a donkey with three legs. B. What? Uh, it should be funny, but I can't work it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care with three legs. Ah, I don't know what it means. <laughs> three legs. Uh, oops, I inputted a top secret code on the stream. Ah, uh, it's a spy. He listens to them channels late at night, doesn't he? I knew it. I knew it. I need to find out what that code was. He's trying to buy porn. He's on the wrong page. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, I said keep a bag for life. <laughs> so, so bollocks to that. I've it. <laughs> oh dear! I got a dog. Wonky is very lazy. <laughs> we call it very legged donkey. The donkey. It's a wonky donkey. It's gonna go down and telling that story, isn't he? The bill. Uh, the beer I have is by Beer Hut Brewing, the Bruce IPA. The beer Hut. I've not had that one. I've not had that one. Was it any good, Rich? Yeah. Always love yeah. the Yeah, I was like, we've got to wrap this up soon. Uh, oh, always when the Simpsons part of the barbershop quartet, they found Barney singing on the floor of the bathroom. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is too funny. Laugh my arse off. Uh, Kevin's got another super secret code up. Kev, you got to stop putting secret, secret codes up. <laughs> not secret. We've got to find you them. put them up. Yeah. I'd write them down, write them down. There's some Russians now frantically putting these numbers into stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, CJR, new video uploaded on Lord Brewing. Go check it out after the stream and show your support. 100%. 100%. If you haven't subscribed, can it? We've got the admins in. I'm assuming the admins on. Can anyone put an admin? Can you do links to Lord's Brewing channel? And can we also do links to the Crummy Beards channel as well, please? The Grammy Beard Channel. I need to, I'm thinking that's your new jingle. The Grammy Beard Channel. I should get a new jingle. You know, you know how no one can get my name right when they when they type it out? Yeah. The well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give the full story now, but I'm all gonna say is that I, I ordered something and they've surpassed everyone else's terrible interpretations. Which I need, I need my video to go out tomorrow before I then do this one, but yeah, it's coming and it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, no, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it. Share the love, share the love. Thanks, man. If you could do a Barney burp, then sing like a choir boy, like but choir boy, like he does in The Simpsons, it would make my day. <laughs> 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 yeah, he has got the worst of an age, isn't he, Barney? I can't do that. Can't do that bit. Uh, Jackson, don't worry, you're on my level. Joel Drake is battered. Rest in peace tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Barney Gumble was based on Paul. Might have been. Might have been. <laughs> I know this. I asked, uh, him, asked him if he said so. <laughs> oh, dear. Every time I'm going to burp, I'm going to say that now. Subtle was a brick. Jackie's subtle was a brick. He is. You don't mess about. 
At least you know where you stand. Yeah. Uh, Steve says, I lock my door. <laughs> I totally lost track of what Steve is chatting about. I am, I am baffled. <laughs> I feel like I've, I, like there's actually a second dimension that is yeah. on video by accident. Definitely a Spurs fan. We, we, none of us make any sense, really. Uh, Joel says, sorry, I meant to say Robbie Knox Brewery is called Binday. Binday Brewing, that's it. Binday Brewing. I wonder, I've not watched him here. I wonder if his contract works. I know when he, I knew he was doing some stuff with another brewery before. Contract brewing, oh dear. Robbie Williams made a beer called Let Me Entertain You by She's the One. She's the One. She's the One. Jordy K drinking a gross. Cheers. Cheers, Jordy. Enjoy. Uh, excuse me again. Put a gas. Uh, I'm going to brewery today to my millionaire friend. Hopefully, we will buy some buy a fucking shit ton of beers if he's a millionaire. It's a lot of beer. It's a lot of beer. Uh, always a red. I lost all the vowels in my Scrabble set. Good news uh, is I've just sold it on eBay as the Welsh edition. <laughs> like it. Like it. What did the blind man say to his mate? Nothing. He was talking to the wall. Hey! Oh. Oh. Uh, it's really so good for you. Why are Wales fat? Good question. Good question. <laughs> good question. You see how, how slow they move. They move slow. You can't. You don't. You don't need to move quick when you can't be attacked by anything. Exactly. You got nothing about that, have you? Uh, my wife said, uh, "Prove you're a tripod." No. Nope. Uh, number twelve. Third time is a charm. He's put another secret code in. Uh, Gold Drake links in. Here we go. Well done, Gold Drake. Top man. Top man. I'm not sure if they're to the, the chat. They might just be porn or something. Know, but, um, well done, Gold Drake. There's some YouTube channels. We don't know whose. We don't know whose. <laughs> We're assuming they're their ones. Uh, can a man who left his four wheeler with a number plate anyone for a BJ please remove it immediately? <laughs> hey, old school. There I go, Adam. Good, good man, Gold Drake. Appreciate that, brother. Oh, that's one button. I am scanning items at work. I actually was on the wrong screen. <gasps> uh, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Wow. That's not good. So those codes could mean anything. Anything. You know, I remember the fake Michael Jackson. I said, I do. I yeah. do. The guy's voice was spot on, wasn't it? Yeah. It was terrifying. Spot on. It was proper scary. Uh, no, no. Oh, catch you another day. Cheers, Dave. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thanks for coming. Well, Good man. Uh, oh, Brad's in. Hi, lads. I know I'm late. Had an absolute mental day. How are we all? I'm alright. How are you, Brad? Right. Oh, you well, dude. I think we're okay. We've had a few. I've had five beers somehow. I'm not sure how I've managed to do that. Five. I had three. I don't know how it works. I'm not going to drink anymore. Not going to lie, Paul. I'm pissed at Spurs winning against us. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't believe that when we uh, we banned you the other day. Couldn't believe it. Wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, Shot says, where can I get some of that uh, Sharon Nevada beer? <laughs> it's such a dick, Kev. It's such a dick. <laughs> he sent me a picture of him going into like his local corner shop and there were crates of Sharon Nevada. <laughs> beer. I was like, you're such a twat. <laughs> no idea like how lucky he is. Uh, uh, Leon Kompowski, bricklayer from New Jersey, by man. I don't know what that means. Uh, housemates and tights, I lock my door. Ah, here we go. I know every hole's a goal, but I'm not having it. <laughs> Back to the walls, lads. Back to the walls. Yeah, uh, leave you alone. Woman at Asda today asked me if I wanted a bag for life. I said, Someone else just said that joke. I'm sure they did. It's okay. It was a very similar joke. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, well, sure. My doctor told me the best thing to do is give up drinking, smoking, and eating unhealthy food. So I asked him, what's the second best thing? <laughs> true. True. 
someone came up to me and goes, Paul, do you want to buy Wembley Arena, Wembley Stadium, and all the shops that are there? And I said, what are you trying to do? Give me a couple of links. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Jackson. I know what to say. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, Gold Drake's got, is he, is he a mod? Has he got the spanner? I'm assuming Gold Drake's got the spanner. Heading off, absolutely battered. Good lad, good lad. Uh, Brandon, R., what's your favourite kind of exercise? Um, what's your favourite kind of exercise, guys? It's got me dog dog walking. Kind of is the is the main is the main uh... dogging. Yes, <laughs> dogging. Especially especially good in rural areas, John. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can resist it. It's just too funny not to say. Well, yeah. You've got, you got, you got to get them early morning ones, though. They're the, they're the worst. You've got to find a good parking spot. And, uh, yeah. yeah. What about you, Joe? What's your favourite form of exercise? L making love. Making love. Yeah, that's yeah, that's one of my favourites, to be fair. That's one of my favourites. Having a kick about gardening and a good bonk. That's, that's, that's a good that's a good one. <laughs> I love it. What about you, Brandon? What's your favourite form of exercise? It's a great question. Uh, apologies for my late arrival. I've been podcasting. At least I'm here. You are, mate. As long as you're here, mate, that's all that matters. We appreciate yeah. it. We really do. Uh, Doctor, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like a pair of curtains. Pull yourself together, man, he said. <laughs> uh, that's like the latest one, isn't it? I went into the doctor's. There was some lettuce poking at me pants. The doctor goes, oh, that looks bad. I went, oh, it's just tip of the iceberg, mate. Tip of the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex, hello, mate. He says, I'm a fan of Hogarden, not a bad brew. No, I think we all kind of said the same thing. It's, it's not incredible, but it's not bad, is it? Very drinkable. Very drinkable. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all uh, right. My wife said that, uh, was that the first... My coming, me coming last. Yep, that's the first. <laughs> Love it. Always ready. Got a broken quiz machine for sale. No questions asked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kev, beer can lift. Beer can lift. What? Are you drunk as well, Kev? What your yeah, work? No, I think that's his favourite exercise: lifting beer cans. Oh, beer can lifts. Yeah, to get the old biceps going. Good shout. Good shout. Brad says best exercise has to be cycling. Loves his bike. God, I haven't read, read a bike in years, man. I like riding. I do like riding. I'm just a bit fat and big. Yeah. I don't like Donkey Kong. Saddles, like Kong. Ain't big enough, are they? Yeah. Saddles ain't big enough if you're, if you're a, a, a chunky lad. Yeah. Jack says, Shagging is the best, uh, is the best exercise. I would crumbly beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I love yeah. that you use that word as well. Shagging. It's not my <laughs> exercise. The most, the most worrying thing is if you ex if you kind of isolate the two sentences there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he is he in the hallway? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I love it. Uh, Paul's just digging a garden. Just digging a garden is bloody good exercise. You do get a sweat on. Uh, yeah, Rich is sex exercise too. Stores. Marcus Rashford off injured. Dan James. Well, I forgot he was paid for Man United. Daniel James. Gold Drake. Uh, cycling for me too. Tomorrow I'll get a new mountain bike. Where are you getting Gold Drake? I do, I do, I do, I do partake a bit in the mountain biking. I, do like I had a Rally Max back in the day. Can't beat that bike ever. Uh, Rally Max. Rally Max. Yeah, I had one of those years ago. Amazing. Ten gears in blue. Absolute beast. I'm <laughs> a, I'm older than you guys. I had a, a Rally uh, Mark One Pro Burner BMX. Ooh, it's like oh. the unicorn now. They're like eighteen hundred quid. Yeah. What? What stuff's now? Uh... I've got uh, my mountain bike is a giant, and then yes. Lydia's got a Marin. Could you not get on it? Casey's got a Marin, Kobe's got a Trek, and uh, Mikey's got a Voodoo. A Voodoo. Voodoo. Are they all different weeks, or are they just like the names? 
Yeah, they're all different makes. Yeah, Voodoo, Voodoo is a health, is effectively a health and zone brand. Yeah, and all but apparently them. they're all right. They're meant to be quite good. Yeah, they but are. They are. They're. they're yeah, they're pretty decent. When I was growing up, it was Rally or Muddy Fox. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, we had. If you were really well off, you had a GT. GT. Yeah, yeah. GT was like the thing. GT is crap now, apparently. Yeah. It's 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 you had the straight handlebar, then the, the bit at the end. You had yeah. to, it was posh if you had the bit at the end. <laughs> Made no fucking sense, but you had her anyway. Yeah. Like, I've got them on mine, and I, just for the retro, and I get looks like, what the hell? Like, what is that thing? What is that? What is the point in that? It's so stupid. <laughs> I just do it for the retro fun. <laughs> it's, meant to, it's meant to give you some. It's meant to be a, a better position to cycle up a hill with. You stood up. What different grip? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah I can't Especially if you're fat like me, you need it. Yeah, the, the, the problem is no one ever installs them right so you you put all your weight through the sides of them and then one of them goes loose and you swing down you fall off the bike yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah mine are carbon fiber on mine and they are they are done up tight first jim says love the pound cake sounds filth <laughs> uh jack says now you're talking jim love pounding a decent bit of cake gold drake's asking what one you're going for uh, Doctor, I'm blind. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> I think poor old Brandon's regretting his question now. Probably. Beer bar cycling. Be yeah, man. Kev's all over that, the beer bar cycling. He's all over that. We've got to do that. A bar in the middle where everyone's got a pedal as we go They're around. in London, isn't there? Yeah, apparently so. We've got to do it. I reckon that'd be a great laugh. Sitting there cycling whilst drinking at a bar. That's incredible. That is genius. Uh, bicep curl was the best exercise. Uh, when is a door not a door? Oh, should you out with a riddle? When is a door not a door? I don't know. Really? That's a calorie tonight. Get me a new crumbling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Love it. Love it. Oh yeah, what are you like? I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got plenty of dogs to defend. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's got backup. He's all good. He's all backup. Uh, John and Paul will make a tag team WWF Fashion Brothers combined weight super underground. Paul's reading this. He's thinking, "I'm pumped." You're reading that. Cavani's got yellow card coming in down here. The Joel's updating this. This is good. I like this. I like this. I'm interested, but not enough to watch it. Jack Howard, she's laughing at him. Rich had a BMX with stump pegs and a 50C quad. Ooh. Ooh. Even a pedal up there. Yeah, back in the day, that's amazing. I had, I had a BMX. I had a BMX one. Thing. They had the. Uh, Velcro wraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine had that. Black, black with white stars on it. It was a cool bike, man. It was a cool bike. Uh, it says, man down, toothpick to the gun. It's getting my bike mainly for riding around with my mates, maybe two when I go in Wales, so I can tell on the back of the car. So I haven't been cycling in years, years and years. I'm back. I need my, I'm cool. I'm going to, I'm getting to the, I'm shattered. I need, I need yeah. some water. We're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Another ninety seconds. We're gonna wrap 90 it up. Second, nine, ninety seconds. Yeah, <laughs> ninety seconds. Let's wrap it up. Tell a story about your mate getting cake. That was funny, man. That was funny. You're down as left Real Madrid. Oh, that is some big news. Beer bar sock is very popular in the Charlotte area. Oh, uh, when, when a door's not a door, it's a window. Says Dino. I mean, oh, when it's a jar. Oh, when it's a uh... jar. Uh, Done everyone there. Uh, Goldrake, heading off now. Good time. Catch up the weekend. Yeah, well done, Goldrake. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Uh, Climax Podcast, what's red and white? Uh, black and blue. And Arsenal fans saying to Paul, where's the stadium, mate? That's <laughs> about right. It's about right. Uh, <laughs> I'll take a punch in the face and another stab to the mouth of the toothpick. That, that does hurt. Oh, dear. Not the one. 
Right. Right. Thank you for everyone getting involved tonight. Bit off the cuff, but we had a laugh. Thank you for getting involved. We love you very, very much. Um, as ever, please subscribe to uh, the Crummy Beard, fantastic channel. Knocking out some cracking reviews, not just beers, but foods and all sorts of things. Check him out. Um, what else we got? Jim's in. Good night. All the great Wednesday cast. Thank you, Jim. Love you, yeah. Night, guys. See you later, later alligators. Everyone, thank you very much for getting involved. Subscribe to John, Lord's Brewing Company. Buy some <laughs> beer because it's good. It's really good beer. And if it was shit, I'll tell you. It's just good beer. So, uh, yeah, we love it. We love it. So, thank you for getting involved again. We love you all. And we will probably see you on Saturday. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.